Hi. How's it going, everybody? Ah, we doing well. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. May> okay. <laughs> Just keeping it chill, keeping it nice and chill before we start to do some possibly illegal things. Yes, but this yeah. might actually be the first session where you guys do something like hella illegal. <laughs> well, we've uh, been, we've been next, such good beans. Next session, you will 100% be doing something hella illegal. <laughs> we'll just see if you continue that on this one or not. It's like, hey, why haven't we been doing this before? <laughs> I completely forgot to change like the thing on my character because I was busy. Oh yeah, you were too happy. You were happy for a while, which is. Really I know. Dumb. How dare I? I'm not allowed <laughs> oh <my God>. to... <laughs> that sudden, that sudden swap is like, oh, so it's you for. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. I I can put the smile on. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's better. Uh, my teeth. Uh, teethers. Teethers. Teethlings. Toofies. Ah. That's why they call them that. <laughs> ah yes, oh I too God. have Boulder Gate. <laughs> I just love the way she says teethlings and then just gets confused by it. <laughs> Karlak I'm is a golden retriever. Um, Karlak is a golden retriever and no one can tell me otherwise. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> you need to play the game by proxy, uh essay so you just sit in a call with everyone else and you dictate what they have to do so you become the backseat gamer i don't want to be a backseat gamer i want to play the game <laughs> son of a bitch Good. Oh, come to my house come to my house whoa oh oh no <laughs> oh nice oh. silica what have you done oh. it's a lot of it breaking the model I like how I can hear Andy like screaming in the background of Amy's audio. <laughs> this is my life on a regular basis. Uh, oh wow, it just keeps going. It's a thousand bits, so we're gonna be here for a while. Uh, oh. It's funny because like we still can't hear him on Discord. We're just listening to him complain through my own mic. <laughs> uh, uh, why am I coming through on this? There you go! There, there, there you go! Yeah. Hey. Uh, You're probably screaming too you loud. You got smacked so hard, Discord kicked you out. <laughs> uh, wow, it just keeps going. Yeah. Pip is totally yeah. unbothered by oh, this god, as well. I, there I, it is. There it is. Am I busted? I think I'm busted. Oh god. Oh no. Wow. Do it again! See if it fixes it! <laughs> move it to Do FPS it now. That's how it works. It has to be at least a thousand bits. <laughs> People it's gotta keep equal forgetting. out the Pe last one. People keep forgetting. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. People keep forgetting. If you spend like 50 bits or more, you can ask, you can ask the AI a question. <clears throat> but nobody ever does it. <laughs> I'm surprised just... that... <laughs> well, usually you've been discouraging it during the D&D &D games, haven't you? <laughs> Yeah, I know, but I mean, even in... Oh, I'm normal now. No, but I mean, even in, like, normal ones, people aren't doing it. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, I'm back. Hello. I need to put up, a, like, a reminder for them somewhere. Oh, you want me to... Okay, sure. Uh, complete all of these. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, dear God. I've been advised to smack you. <laughs> 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 Nate, I'm learning. I have been advised to smack you. Mhm. Mm okay. Very politely. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite the advice. Thank you, thank you, Nim. Well, thank okay. you, Silica, for the thousand bitties and the abuse. Oh dear God. Uh -oh. Oh, oh fuck. Uh -oh. oh dear God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes! Yeah, keep going, 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 Just going, do going, excitement going. in the air as we do it again. Hype train, let's go! Thought provoking dialogue. Do it. Oh, wait, <laughs> May I hit two? Oh, Gamma yeah. 4488. Commit You're crimes, asking me if I pay someone's bail toll if they get caught committing a crime? Well, mm. let me tell you, I'm the Nimbach of Sass, not the patron saint of bail. The game money. is broken. Besides, uh, we're crime to doesn't talk. pay. But it oh, sure gives talking? me a good laugh. Uh -huh. So, my friend, 
you might have to find another generous soul to cover those expenses. <laughs> he refuses to pay for crimes. So if you guys get into crimes, he's not paying, apparently. Crime uh... doesn't pay, but it gives me a good laugh. <laughs> that's, that's a statement. Damn, Pip. <laughs> I have uh... the stream muted, so I can't tell. Because I don't want to hear our own voices. Because it would be like a really weird echo. So I didn't hear Pip. God, they're awful. Mm-mm. <laughs> mm -mm. What are we even doing here? Well, I know, like, I... And we, Imagine we being a voice actor that? that likes their own voice. Not yeah. real. I don't trust them. Uh, I don't trust them. It's a myth. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> oh, are we ready to commit God. crimes? Yes, I would probably ready to commit. Well, I'm probably not ready to commit crimes, but let's go anyway. Right. So in the previous session, you guys made it all the way down to uh, Brizo, the uh, mermaid's um, uh, main city headquarters, Metropolis. Already caused some trouble by meeting uh, uh, Sec, the captain uh, of the of the um, the uh, for enforcement there, it's, which is where you met Donit, the uh older mermaid uncle of Ica, who dragged you to his home uh to keep you safe we got some heartfelt dialogue between him and Ica about his name and at which point you revealed your godly ways to him and now we are ending up planning a heist to try and get a hold of the king of the mermaid folk to warn him of oncoming danger that is outside but present and could be entering in at any moment yeah there's no war in ba sing se no war in breezer yeah ba sing se funny thing is i didn't, I didn't even <laughs> think about that when i started this <laughs> It's Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, literally Ocean's Eleven. That's the that's what we came to, yeah. It's better because we're actually in the ocean, so... That's true. Uh, suck it, George Clooney. Yeah, George Clooney uh, didn't do it good enough, so we're doing it properly. Oh, yeah, and um, Azalea licked the house for some reason. Uh, it was mending. I was fixing it, yeah. Yeah, that's mending. it. You were casting mending. mending. Lick. Uh, honestly, if there was any reason, that would be the reason. You know? I don't think I Azalea think. needs a reason. Mm -hmm. I did a good job, man. Mm -hmm. Man, fantastic. Cured her depression for a solid three seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's also the closest thing I'm getting to a tray in a while. Mm. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that is very, very true. Would coral be like ocean tree? I mean, basically. It's ocean so, plant. It's a plant. Plantary. Yeah. Huh. Never you can really find thought some of coral. it that way. Just or like to lick some cor uh, coral. Ah, uh -huh. Much better. Oh, <laughs> we got to roll for ducks. Yeah, we got to roll for how many dukes? How many ocean ducks? Put up your dukes. Put well, up your ducks. Dukes. Right, fifty-seven. Yes. Ducks. Strong number. Draw exactly over half. Over half the amount of dukes. All right. Goddamn. Where are they gonna fit in? All right. Cool. <laughs> Figure it out. Dear God. All right. Well, where we left off, uh, Dunnett, you were inside Dunnett's house, and across the ground, he had brought out a bunch of older blueprints, which he had somehow occurred um, of the palace. Now, he, he he's placed them on the floor, brushed off a bunch of dust, and is all in to plan this heist with you. He doesn't fully understand the reasoning for it, but I don't think he really needs one. You find, and you, uh, you all find yourselves um, staring down on the floor at these multitude of blueprints showing you um, a, a, uh, as much of the inside as possible. You notice uh, on the uh, uh, on the side of it that it uh, is. Um, it, 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 they're, they're on the on the edges, they're they're very uh, very worn and um, very quite damaged. Um, but you are able to see the multitude of floors, um, and it lists um, how many rooms uh, the palace has at that present time. Uh, 
Should we be concerned that he was really quick to pull all this information out? Hmm. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, Basically it showed like him he's... gods, and he's like, let's commit a crime. <laughs> <laughs> was quite was quite open to the idea right away, I must say. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. You know, I can't argue with that logic. <sighs> all right. Now, are we sure all this information is up to date? Like, the castle hasn't done any renovations since these prints, right? Well, these prints are quite, uh, all of the, I mean, they're probably as old as me, really. So, uh, yeah, there's probably some changes about the place, but this place has got about, like, over 700 rooms in it. Whoa. Ooh. Who yeah. needs that many rooms in their life? He's living fancy, that's for sure. Hmm. Okay. We may want to try and trim down... Uh, which rooms we want to focus on. Right. We should figure out where he is most active in these 700 rooms and go from there. How do we do that? Well, well. King's not very active outside of the palace, so we could be pretty sure he's going to be in there. As for yeah. where, as for where... He, uh, he flicks through a few of them, like, and he points to one room uh, near the top of the um, near the top of one of the towers. He's like, "This is his personal study. He pretty, I'm pretty sure he hangs around there, but he's going to be doing some things throughout the whole of the of the palace. That where he goes, I don't know during the day." Hmm. You think there's anybody who would know or would uh, somehow part of that information, willingly or not? Mm. He uh, he puts um he puts a hand up to his uh up to his chin and like scratches some of the uh, skinned flakes off. Um. And then has a and has a good think about that. He says, "Well, all the guards are kind of working for uh." The guard recently has had a few changes ever since the second in command underneath the king came in. Now, I wouldn't really trust any of them as much as possible. Hmm. However, would that apply to anyone who has been relieved of duty that still has some information? Hey. Now you're <laughs> thinking like me. I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's mercenary works. You, uh, it's not exactly a morally high ground job. Now, that's one option. There's also plenty of nobles around here who, uh, are looking to get their leg up in this, in this city. You are those you could deal with. Now, all of you, especially you, big guy, I'm pretty sure you could, uh, Intimidate a few people. Could, could. Hmm. Wouldn't mind. Would they uh... be? Would they be scared of bears? I mean, yeah. Who wouldn't be? Ooh. I can turn into a bear. This I don't think it'd be a good idea to intimidate or be aggressive in any way. It's just gonna bring attention. It, if anything, well, we should probably be, you know, kind. And maybe reach around to just those who, I don't know, maybe work at the palace instead. Maybe servers or employees or kids of uh, those employees. Hmm. I know if I uh, was a child of someone who worked there, I'd probably want to go through the whole palace. Hmm. there's any officials in that place that has some kids that maybe around your age that you might want to chat with I just think keeping our heads down and uh, keeping a low profile would probably be best here hmm. and True. that's coming from me <laughs> alternatively Azalea and I cause a scene with giant orc fighting a giant bear for no reason whatsoever but to cause a distraction. 
Hmm. Right, but a distraction to get information. I don't know if that'll really work. I think we should probably get information first, and then when we actually do need to go in there, we can work on distractions. Right. It well, would hey, be good look. to know what the the outside conditions look like to see if if we can find the best way to get in there to begin with. And most of the time with these types of people, they always have like a schedule of some sort that they can follow. You know? People with power, they got their whole like lives just mapped out. No is adventure. It, is Azalea is going to like look like she's got an idea and she's just going to like stand up, move away from everyone for a second, and she's going to cast uh, Alter Self. So she changes her appearance to look as close to um, done it as possible. Ah, wait, did it? What? Huh? Grunkle? Uh, I've done it. <laughs> yes. Look Donnie at walks me. Over, so very... Oh, it's like it's like moving. Isn't it? Good looking. <laughs> ah, yes, I am definitely this man. Okay, hold on. Does does altering does alter work on the voice? Oh yes, it alters voice too. Oh okay. Ooh. Ooh good. Fantastic. <laughs> right. Lovely. <laughs> Pat's right. Like I love how no one's questioning the idea of a bear underwater. <laughs> <laughs> how did okay. bear get so here? We, we got some, We've uh... seen sea bears in SpongeBob before. <laughs> it's totally normal. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Donnie kind of rubs his, uh, his hands and says, Okay, we got some magic on our side. Good to know. That'll make, that'll make things a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, look, like I said, there's plenty of people here who want to get a foot up in that place. Mm. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, there's, has there uh, been anyone recently that is, has been making a lot more commotion against the king or the new... Um, ruling changes around here anyone that comes to mind hmm uh he has another think about it a little bit hmm well let's see there's someone around here there's someone around the lower parts down here one of their uh their sister recently got put in the prison and they, 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 they're, they're adamant, wrongfully so. There's also, uh, there's also a, uh, one of the, uh, there was, uh, there was someone who was, uh, an ex-guard. He was, uh, looking for uh, that, that sec guy's job. But he was replaced by him, just out of nowhere. He's been shifty ever since. Pretty sure that he's not a fan. There's a maid that uh, goes in and out of the uh, in and out of the uh, palace every now and again. I've yeah, uh, I've given her a go every now and again, but uh, she doesn't seem interested for some reason. I can't imagine why. You're such a good-looking fella. Thanks, man. Right. Anyways, <laughs> uh, should we just? Go around and maybe ask some questions and stuff? Yeah, that's... We don't have to have one set plan. We could probably have multiple. We are a pretty big group. True, mm. true. Oh, look. Didn't they not like us? No, we're going to have to keep a low profile. Honestly, mm. we should probably change our clothes, maybe. Hmm. Kid, I'll be honest. I, I don't cast... think any change of clothes will make me look less like a mermaid. Hmm. Well, I'm able yeah. to cast uh, invisibility on one person at least. Well, we need to be able to be visible so we can talk to people. But I'm well, saying uh, clothing as far as like trying to keep a low profile from the guards who recognize us before. Right. I'm just saying if in case we whenever we need to go in or maybe you want someone invisible to um, scout out the outside of the palace itself to see if there's anything noticeable. Maybe uh. things like that could work. As it would turn out, this staff of mine actually has a lot of things that could help with um, a heist, oddly enough. <laughs> um, uh, invisibility. Uh, I believe there was a knock spell. 
in there. Uh, pass wall, arcane lock, uh, enlarge or reduce, uh, telekinesis. Well, there's a lot of things in here that could actually work for that. <laughs> you see, you, you feel Zershisk like looking away like... <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> in my mind, I'm like... I'm not saying that would be the primary use. I'm just trying to think outside the box. <laughs> Rask, remember, we're the good guys here, despite what we're doing right now. Be on your best behavior. <laughs> I imagine Dad be like, best behavior, that's boring. That's <laughs> 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 stupid. <laughs> that's not going to get us anywhere. <laughs> Well, so we have three leads. We have the prisoner, the guard, and the maid. Yeah, official with a sister in prison, the ex-guard that was replaced, and the maid who comes in and out of the palace. Now, where does the maid usually end up going? Like a tavern? Like, you guys have those, right? Um... He mentions that he doesn't really, he doesn't specifically keep tabs on her. He just knows that every now, every now and again during the afternoon, she's seen coming out of the uh, palace and heading down some, uh, uh, some of the. Actually, hold on, let me get the map, the old map that I uh, gave the other day. Okay. Ah, mm. uh, yes, we do have that. Have you guys got that map as well? Um, the is it the one you sent back the last time we were playing, like the big citywide one? The big blue one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the palace is at the top right, um, and she's come. Uh, she's seen heading. She's been seen heading out and then uh, up to the northern area. Out into the northern area. Okay. The guy. Uh, the. Uh, person who has had their sister imprisoned is um, local to where you are now. Okay. Uh, and the da, 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 the paranoid um, the paranoid captain uh, known as Blenny is uh, is with local law enforcement now instead but he hasn't been seen for the last couple of days um, coming out of his house, which is uh, towards sort of like the, where the centerpiece is down the bottom. There's like a circular bit. Mm -hmm. It's uh, one of those houses. He's not see he's been seen coming out of there. Okay. <sighs> hmm. The market for uh, uh, some of the uh, the more noble people will be living near the palace. Um, understandably. Well, so. Okay, so and we're currently situated. You're situated more uh, down uh, pretty much as, almost as far down as you can go south, in the center. Gotcha. Okay. So do we want to try to work our way up from where we are now? Uh, maybe try to find the... Who was the first one we would wind up on? Uh, start going north from where we are. We might find the... The, uh, the official who had the sister in prison, I believe? The person who, uh, had, who's who got their sister in... Yeah, they would be technically the closest to you. Uh -huh. They are. They also reside within the um, more poor, damaged area. Mm -hmm. and then you said the ex guard that was replaced by Captain Sec. They're currently in custody. You said, or they're just not not been. No, no, seen no they're in. They're in law enforcement. They're not oh, okay. with um, the Royal Guard, but they haven't been seen coming out of their house in a couple of days. Hmm. Okay. Just trying to think where all of our best advantages would be if we want to split up and find them or go as a group. 
Mm -hmm. It'd probably be better if we split up. Mm, bring I less attention be... to ourselves. Yeah, less attention, low profile. That's, um, yeah, that, that's what I would recommend. All right. Ika, you could probably, you'd probably be, you or Azalea would probably be the ones that could get closest to the palace to find the maid. Uh, Azalea. not really. I don't um, think so. I don't think so. Hmm. I, I worry that, um, I, I might just stand out a little bit. Hmm. Well, you could be the one I put invisibility on to try and get you closer. I'm going to be mm. quite frank with their stealth check. They don't need it. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, out of everybody, I'd be the last one you want to use that on. I was about to say, I feel like our biggest, bulkiest dude in the group should get the invisibility. Mm. <laughs> well, it's possible if the maid leaves in, away from the palace on certain days, um, we don't know which direction she goes. Just but if we can start at least finding the official first, and then they may be able to point us... Well, we don't necessarily want to go straight toward the law enforcement to find this other guy that we're trying to keep away from the law at the moment. Hmm. Especially when the law is not on our side right now. Very much so. Hmm. <sighs> Seems like the safest bet... Like, if this official is still part of the local governing body around here. They seem like they may be the safest bet to find first. <clears throat> oh, done it speaks up as well. It's just like, notices that you all seem to be worried about, like, the local law around here. It's just, well, hey, the Royal Guard and the local authority, they don't talk to each other. Oh. Says that's good to know. I don't, I, I'm not even sure why the captain was down there. But the local law enforcement won't know anything about you. Hmm. So they would, lo, the law enforcement wouldn't report back to the Royal Guard. No, they, uh, they don't see no eye to eye. Hmm. Okay, so maybe that might be able to work in our advantage somehow. Indeed. So why don't we go with our two safest options first, because the maid's going to be at the palace, which means royal guards, which equals bad. Right. So going up, we would find the official first, and then they may be able to point us to where law enforcement is in this Blenny. Did you say the name was? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let me look. Uh, Blenny, yeah, is the uh, one who was going for the guards captain's Right, replaced by Captain Sec. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think I think those two are the the best bets we can work with for now, and then we may be get, able to get more insight from them on how we can proceed to the castle. Hmm. So, who wants to go where? Ika, Azelia, any thoughts? Well, we can't go by ourselves. Yeah, we, we'd probably get lost easily in this city, I would imagine. So I feel like, if anything, Ika needs to go just to give one of us directions to whoever they pick. And then Dunnett should go with the other group to see if we can uh, point out the other one. Hmm. Hmm. That way, both teams have a guide. Well, uh, if we go with me and Ika... I can use this thing where I look like a person that I am not um, and we can talk to okay, an attempt to talk at people uh -huh. so we can get other information. Right. So you're saying at least have one done it with each team. I don't have to be done it. I can I can look at it like someone else. I mean that's true. Just you're saying that was the first one. I think that's the first time I've seen you change into 
a person instead of an animal, so that was a surprise. I mean, it's not that far off. I mean, nothing. <laughs> Did we just get burned? <laughs> <laughs> He's um, done it so I just mentioned to Jesus. I was like, as much as I give off a uh, sudden uh, vibe, as they say, I probably wouldn't suggest going as me. Local law enforcement, uh, we kind of talk a lot behind bars. So maybe hmm. Dunnage should go find the official. Right. So he's less likely to get arrested. Makes sense. Plus, hey, you might be able to sneak something off him. Oh, hey, look. I don't know. If I'm honest, I'd, yeah. I mean, you guys are, are gods at this point. <laughs> you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a good swindler, but... Uh, this is uh this is out of my territory uh, i don't know how much use i'm gonna be here and plus everybody here knows me man <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know how to go anywhere without trees <laughs> well i say we just go out you think keep the group together and just go for the official first, maybe? No, I think we just, we split up, we find our teams, and then just go, you know? Hmm. Right. This town, a lot of people talk. Mm hmm Really, you could probably run into just about anybody and they'd know something about someone. I suppose that's fair. Especially where we're at right now. Uh, we do have to be careful. The, this, the, the, the change face thing it only lasts for an hour hmm oh man so we're gonna have to be quick on our feet with you then yeah I, and i don't know where i'm going and at the same time you're not exactly a wanted face around here so even if it did drop it would probably be a shock but you're not exactly you know a a known criminal or anything like that and truth being told you probably don't even need to be in that kind of disguise right now Maybe, Maybe towards when we have to get towards the castle. Time. Explore that. Mm, I'm not sure because the guys we saw when we got here did not like the fact we weren't mermaids. Hmm. Hey, look, we we may be underwater, but we do get we do get other visitors. It's not unusual to uh, not unusual to see different races down here. I think it was just Sect who had a problem with us. Right. Yeah, and that may have had something to do with um, me coming in on Poku. Oh, right. Yeah, to be Poku. fair, you did just enter in on like an unlicensed turtle. Yeah. <laughs> unlicensed turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have but the now that we're tags here, or anything like that. Now yeah. that we're here and settled in, as long as we don't cause a scene, we should be fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right then, well, I guess we could all just split up and, you know, just keep our heads down, not do anything stupid. Zelia's right. gonna shake like a dog and go back to her normal form. <laughs> <laughs> cool. If anything, kid, have a, kid did have a good idea before. Maybe if we look more, if we dressed more like we do live here, it'd be less suspicious. I, I think we might have some extra, like, random clothes in the back, right, Uncle? Oh, yeah. We got plenty of things around here. What? What? You, you, you cut, cut out. Off. Sorry, you Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you through Amy's, but it was uh, really, it was really yeah, hard. We got yeah. plenty of, I got plenty of things around here. Perfect. I've got plenty of visitors at this place. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, uh, he heads on into, um, his, uh, uh, down the hallway and then into his bedroom and brings out, like, a crate full of, like, old clothes and as he places them on the floor, a, bu t a ton of dust just flies up into the air and the, the scent of many unusual greetings, uh, enters the air as you, uh, begin to sift through. I'm just gonna find anything that looks like a long, like, black coat of some sort. 
Uh, you look through and you kind of uh, have, you kind of find like an old, uh, like dark brown, um, sort of like cloak with a hood. Ooh. All right, I'll grab that. Uh, I'm gonna go for anything that would fit me. Uh, you look around and uh, you find so you, you're about the same sort of similar thing to done it. So uh, you kind of find one of his old, um, kind of like an old like uh, a like leatherish uh, sort of jacket that he uh, he's got. Um, uh, been sewn together or, or like tanned together with um, very like quite big, um, like almost like ropish instead of um, a thread. Um, you, know, you, you kind of put that on and on the, <laughs> yeah, on the back it's got, you know, like, um, some, uh, some writing from, his, from, uh, the old days. It's just like, um, just, uh, a bad carp. Hmm. Wow, this is a good look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marty. What? I bet if you dress like that, you might be able to talk up that maid. Uh, 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 maybe. <laughs> oh, I need to see that. Oh man, uh, <laughs> kids, kids, call me out. Kids, call me out. <laughs> Do you think the maid would be able to take out the cactus? <gasps> she might have the experience to do it. I'm sorry. What? What? What are we talking? What? We need an experienced maid to get rid of a cactus. Yes, the one Marty fought when he was on his drunk bender. In the last <laughs> oh, right, right, right. I was like, did he ingest a cactus? And she's got to remove it. I don't understand. It's <laughs> yeah. <getting> real weird. <laughs> <laughs> to be so fair, we have no idea if he ingested a cactus in the last session. You right for that. <laughs> you right. Uh, you right. Yeah, right. We just come back like... and just see one with a giant bite mark out of it. <laughs> oh, uh, it'd be like the cabbage guy, but it's my cactuses. <laughs> <laughs> Where did all these orc bites come from? <laughs> no. Oh no. All right, uh, Zelia, are you gonna? Are you looking through the uh, the the box as well? Yeah, uh, I think I'll see if I can find anything. You know, a bit more long sleeve or something, something to cover up the more lizard-like features. Oh so my god, this would be better. I just thought this would be cute. Uh, you look through and um, you, you find a, a, an old knitted sweater um, uh, with a turtleneck. Yes! Ah. Yes! <laughs> lizard in a sweater! I'm so down. Turtleneck. <laughs> this is precious. Oh, oh yeah. adorable. Azalea is looking at these clothes as though they are an alien form. She's she has no idea what any of these things are because all the clothes she's worn so far have been like made out of trees, mm. apart from the cloak. I really do look like an uncle now. <laughs> <laughs> Turtleneck sweater. Oh, you need little glasses. Oh well, we can fix that one oh, at least. Little uh, book. Ah. Oh, you think so cute. <laughs> yes. Uh, Azalea, you notice uh, near the bottom that that's been uncovered. Uh, you notice um, kind of like a wraparound white. Um... Should I be concerned oh, with mine? <laughs> 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 yes! Fancy underscore pants 98. If your everything is bleeding, dang you, it might fancy be time to panic just a little. I mean, <laughs> keep being fancy. Everything doesn't sound too great. I'd recommend seeking immediate medical attention to sort that out. We don't want your fancy pants stained with blood. Now we, <laughs> we don't want your fancy pants <laughs> stained with blood. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. Um, you, yeah, you notice uh, on the top, uh, like a wrap around um, over the top, like white, uh, well, gray now, but white, um, sort of like uh, very loose top that leads down into attached to a long black skirt. Ooh. Zalia puts it on upside down. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, you put it on over, um, and you know, you uh, it kind of like the black kind of falls down underneath. So now it seems as if you're basically wearing the skirt upside down, and you have long white pantaloons. This is very uncomfortable. Hmm. 
I mean, it's it's quite a fashion statement you're making. Why would people wear this? It's very uncomfortable. Uh, According to all known laws, I think of aviation, most people wear no it. There's no way a giraffe uh, should be able to in fly. In the reverse pattern. The giraffe, of course, still doesn't fly. Azalea is going to take it back off and then flip it, not not the correct way, but flip it the other way round and then put it on the same way. Oh, so <laughs> instead uh, of flipping vertical, you flip horizontal. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. That didn't enough. fix anything. <laughs> Try one more time, but like make the skirt go down instead of up. But then nothing's going to cover my chest. Huh. That is a problem. Just Can like... I like dig around to look for like a baggy t-shirt like thing and then maybe shorts? Uh yeah, uh you look around and um uh, further in and you kind of you come across um some of your uh you come you come across some very very old um shirt uh uh, 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 uh shirt and uh shorts. Um, they've got kind of like a hole in the side of them a little bit, and like an hole in the hole in the armpit. Uh, but it's basically it's just a um, it's kind of like a mixed uh, variety of um, blues and greens colors to sort of to mimic the the underwater. And the shorts uh, along the side along the side have rad dude. Nice rad dude. Here, try these, Azalea. They might be more comfy. Azalea is going to attempt those. She at least knows how to put pants on because her current pants are made out of um, bark. Mm. I mean, she also had a son. Right. Yeah, he had clothes. She doesn't know what a skirt is. <laughs> Threw off her whole rhythm, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. She'll, she'll learn it eventually. She'll just, like, stuff it in her bag. Prepare to figure out how to use it later. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, if I'm supposed to be looking nice for the park, kid, do you ever happen to have a spare hair tie on you? <laughs> He's gonna try and look nice for him. <laughs> hey, Dad, I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to commit to the part here. So that's, that's, no, all, right. that's all about. Technically, couldn't you use your uh, eye patch? That? No, we lost. I don't have it. Oh yeah, we <laughs> don't lost know where it. That went. I forgot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I forgot. You're you're you're, you're naked now. James, I uh, need yeah. to commission Amy for a new D and D sprite because I want to give her money for an updated face. Oh, oh that might not uh, be able to happen actually. <laughs> Amy, oh, no. Amy, unfortunately, is very busy for a while. Uh, no, no I'm not, I'm not only that, but um, uh, this is made in Unity. Son oh, of a biscuit. Oh, that's true. I mean, technically, I can keep the program going in Unity. It's fine, but yeah. It's all okay. It's all Problems. Okay. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Oh, wow. You look in there and you find... Wow, what? Holy shit. An eye patch. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean Why does this suspiciously look like the eye patch I lost? <laughs> hey, don't blame me. We have the same uh, fashion sets. That was left here by some weirdo. He tried to break in. I punched him. And they fought well, off. Well, well, it's Weird. getting turned into a hair tie anyway. So Maddie takes it and starts tying all of his uh, hair locks back. And you can finally see all of his face. Huzzah. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, it's oh a convenient plot point. Wow. wow. I didn't know you had a face. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I forgot I had it. I have a face too, but I... It just can stay there. <laughs> Why not? It's a good face. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> then it's just kind of like looking left. Then it's kind of just looking left around. It. Are you sure you guys are ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. never ready. They're they're the best in the business, Uncle. Uh huh. Okay. Well, if you get caught, just don't mention my name. You know the usual thing. It's nice yeah. to see he has so much faith in it. It's okay. I've already forgotten your name. They'll never get it out of me. <laughs> <laughs> so right. we ready? I mean, <sighs> why is, not? I think we're as covered as possible. All right. I guess everyone act like you belong in this city. <laughs> Hello, fellow mermaid. 
<laughs> blub, How blub. do you do, fellow flippers? <laughs> ah, yes, the water today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do great. <laughs> All right, well, Dud, it puts it puts that away. It says, "All right, well, if you ever need a safe place, you can come back here. You don't really, uh, you don't really bother coming down here. They kind of just left us to our own thing. So, think of it as a safe house." Appreciate Good to man. know. And, uh, he opens the door up and kind of beckons you to go do your thing. All right, here we go. <laughs> Did we ever even get the name of that official we were trying to find? Let me just ask. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what were you looking for? Sorry, the official. What, the name of the official. I don't know if we ever mentioned it. Well, there's Blenny, who was the guy who went for the captain thing. Right. The person who actually, the person who had their sister put away, you never got the name of. Right, um, that's the one we need, I think. Oh, okay. Um, uh, he's, he, he says uh, they don't. No one really knows their name that much. They only go by. They only go by an alias called Sword. Saw. Sword. 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 Okay. Sword. Swing, swing, oh, swing, and if your name was Shield Steel, it, it would work out really well. It's, oh it's... man! Why do you feel like a Pokemon game? <laughs> shield and sword. Yeah. Sword. Uh, the lady, they, uh, he said the, her name is known as Madame Bass. Madame Bass. Right, that down. <laughs> well, that's that's the name of the maid? Yeah, that's the name of the maid. Got it. All right, I'm so... glad somebody finally noticed. I've been making a lot of fish puns with these. Yeah. Oh, because he's a swordfish. I got it now. Got <laughs> <laughs> and Madame Bass. He's got that bass. That, that bass. No trouble. No, no, no trouble. trouble. It's a no shame trout. she's not um, an Argonian because she would be a lusty Argonian maid. <sighs> there's only, there's maybe only you should go for one of those. <laughs> maybe I should go. <laughs> All right, time to start. So you, are you, you ready get to get to her and it turns out she's the model yeah. for Babuga. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. She's got spicy. I feel like you've been waiting for this for too long. Yeah, literally. You son of a fish, I mean. <laughs> you just started dancing. <laughs> Time to tip the scales. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess uh, what, Maddie and I can go... Uh, try to find the lady mainly because I just kind of want to see him flirt. Do you two want to go uh, handle the other thing? Uh, to try and find the the official you mean? Yeah, sword guy. I suppose we can if we have an well, idea of the where The sword guy is not official. Oh. The sword guy is not an official. No, of okay, so the, the, the official who was after the who was after the guard job is Blenny. The, mm. the okay, other the... person is just a poor person who lives in the same area uh, as okay. you guys. You, you... When I first heard, I heard there is an official who has a sister in prison. No. Okay. Off to a great start. <laughs> All right. Um... So probably our best bet is to get in touch with the people who can connect us to the castle. Right. So that would so... be the maid <laughs> and the Blenny. Yes. Or the person who's living over here. Usually, if you're still living over here, you got a story to tell. Very true. Very true. It might be better not to go for the captain, because if he's trying to get in there, then um, he might be willing to lie, or maybe, you know, tip people off. Hmm. But at but the same time, the, the law enforcement guy. doesn't talk with the royal guard all that much, according to Danit. Yeah, but they might talk if they can, you know, make money off of it, so I don't know. I think hmm. sword guy might be better. All right, then. I guess Madam Bass and Sword. Start, uh, start with the lowest hanging fruit. Mm. All right, you uh, you head on outside of uh, Danit's house, and he uh, he closes the door behind you, uh, and a piece of the uh, top of the... Uh, some of the wood falls off from the top, as per usual, as you would imagine. 
Uh, you come out into the uh, to the dark, uh, the dark, dark, darkest, um, darkened streets. Uh, no, no electricity of any kind, or no, no, no. Um, sorry, no candlelight or anything to to keep this place lit up. And uh, you see uh, from your uh, sort of like to your ahead of you uh, a long winding uh, corridor or street leading up to even more. Le- uh, uh, I saw like dissecting off in from left to right and um, anywhere. Uh, from down its instructions, you rem- uh, you remember it's uh, north and then uh, the ha- crazy. oh god. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room, a <laughs> rubber room, a rubber room with rats. Yeah, the rats drove me crazy. Very nice. So uh, if you um, and uh, so it's north, and then uh, is she is said that she has a um, a place that she likes to do business down the, uh, to the to the right. North and to the right. Oh, That's where Madam Bass does business. You mean? No. Or the or the the per- sword does business. Sword does business down there. Up and to the right. Yeah, he. Sorry. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> you just see Matt. He's just like trying to like get his self together. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. I know how to talk to people. <laughs> oh. You're the bard. You better. <laughs> uh, just, <laughs> just hear him. Just like try to like lighten himself in the mood. It's like, all right, um, magic, winging. Bard tank. I am a cast iron pan. I'm a cast iron pan. I'm a Why cast iron pan. Did it? <laughs> yeah. Think yeah. It okay. So well. no, I... To give Mad Love the bad sure. pink shirt. That was supposed to be the joke. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think Mike's mag- losing it. He's a magical tank bard, a cast iron pan. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Man, ever since that cactus juice, something's been wrong with him. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> cactus juice changed you, man. <laughs> All right. Well, looking at this map here, if we go up north, it looks like there's some kind of maybe a marketplace somewhere in the middle. Uh, we might be able to go up to there and then maybe go to the right or maybe ask around the market. See if they've heard of a man named or a man named Sword, and maybe find out where they were last seen at somewhere on the right. Right. Would be my guess, at least. Hmm. All right then. You follow that lead, and I guess Kid and I will go up to the castle and see if we can find Madame Bess. Just All be right. careful going right round the castle. Right, 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 right. Don't Kid worry. Can, I know a few Kid different can... alleys. Trust you on this one, kid. Hmm. Okay, so if they get into trouble, Thrask, do we just leave them there, or do we have to go help them? Hmm. Well, I would certainly like to go help them if we're close enough. Do we have a way of signaling each other if somebody does something stupid? Uh, maybe we just scream out real loudly, Destiny Dude, you know, like really loud. I, I don't think that'll work if we're on different sides of a city. Huh. Well, let me see. Hey, Saren! I don't know if Saren will come out of here. Uh, right. he, he pops his head out from behind you. Um, hey! Yeah. Do they? Do you guys, like, you gods, do you have, like, a way of, like, communicating? Maybe, like, uh, I don't know, some, some sort of device to let other gods know what's up? Uh, he, he kind of thinks it's like, no, oh, that'd be awesome, though. Oh. Hmm. Now, we've always just been in the same place. We don't really need that. And uh, besides, now we're in your body. Yeah, but what about if we want one guy to talk to another guy and let them know that we're in jail? I mean, when we were at full power, sure. But now that we're down here, we, 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 not really. Hmm. Okay. What well. about... I mean, three of us know precedentation. What if we just shot like a little spark in the air as almost like a little flare signal? Mm-hmm. That's um, a cool idea. 
There's that. Um, if we're in sort of the general area, I can silently message somebody from about 120 feet away. Ooh, ooh, that's good, that's good. Mm hmm Okay, so if we can't... How far away is the castle from where we're going? Um, if you look on the map, uh, I mean, it'll... It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a city, so it's probably going to take you a good... Like half, like twenty minutes, half an hour to get, or like more to get across, to like the palace. All right. Yeah, we are not going to be close enough for that, and I don't know if we'd technically be close enough to see anything from that distance. Could um, you think it's possible one of these markets sell something like uh, sending stones or things like that? Ooh. Uh. Do you think the the market here is more of a general goods market, or is there someone that sells like rarer trinkets or equipment uh. and things like that? I mean, they uh, don't have a lot of money down this way. Uh, down here, you might find some whole bunch of crazy stuff. Um, now, if they obtained it legally, um, that's a different question. Ah. Uh. It's possible maybe our, our, this sword person we're looking for may know of uh, some other avenues to use if they're doing business apart from the public market. That's it. I don't think you're in the, in the most lawful side of the business if you go by an alias. Yes, it, should we... Speaking of, should we use aliases of our own to not give away <sighs> names? Code names. Code names. Oh. Well, we used to do this on a mission it. once. It's sort of like if you're trying to hide your identity, if a job is supposed to be super secretive, you give yourself a code name instead. Oh, right. Well, what was your code name? I, I mean, you, you knew it. It was Shield. Oh. Well, then what would your code name be now? Oh, uh... <laughs> Matt, cast wait, iron pan? No, wait. <laughs> no, hold on. Mad loot. Mad loot, Mad yes! Loot. Oh, this is a heist. Mad loot. <laughs> Mad loot. So are you going to tell the maid that's your name, too? Um... I just don't think she'll find that attractive. I mean, I could just give her my real name. It's not like she'll, not like anyone actually knows it. Well, then what's the point of the code name? Well, Why I'm not something fancy? For us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like a, that sir, um, what's something nice and fancy? And Thrask, you know fancy. <laughs> I could probably work something up. What would be a good fancy name for Monty? Hmm. Oh, you're not actually going for mad loot, damn it. I wanted to go for mad loot. <laughs> but I do like Miss G Mama's pickup line. That's like, my name's Mad Loot, but you can call me you. <laughs> hey, yo. L. <laughs> hmm, let's see. I, I was thinking something along the lines of, if you want fancy, maybe something like. Uh, Sir Madlog, Iron Warden of of the Church of uh, of what 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 is your God's name again? Uh, <laughs> Kurtz. Kurtz. Yes, Sir Madlog, Iron Warden of the Church of Kurtz. That's good. <laughs> Kurtzy. Sorry. Kurtzy. <laughs> Brother, you didn't hear that, right? <laughs> Look, Kurtz is in the ocean, therefore he is Kurtz C. Kurtz C. No, true. <laughs> you know what? You just let, hear let... You, from the back of your um, from the back of your mind, you just hear your brain rattling with a grumble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he liked that joke. <laughs> That's fine. I liked that joke. All right. How about I'll meet you guys halfway. <sighs> Sir Tolren of the Iron Curtain. Sir Tolren? 
Okay, okay. Of the Iron Curtain. I, I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's what we're going with. Okay. And now that's one code name down. What about you? I don't know. Um, Agent Awesome. <laughs> that works. I would have gone with Swift Scale, but that works too. <laughs> Swift Scale. You're fast. That is mermaid. cool. <laughs> but Awesome would be in the name of the other one. All right, fair enough. Ha. <laughs> Thrask? Hmm, do we want to go fancy with me as well, or should I keep it simple? <laughs> it's just Bob. <laughs> it's just Bob. <laughs> How about we just like kind of, we just change it up. Instead of the Inquisitive, you're the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor. Okay, okay, I can see that working. And Azalea? Maple. Perfect. I like it. That's yes. adorable. <laughs> Easy it's, to remember. It's a tree. It is. <laughs> I love how you guys have come up with code names. <laughs> Two of you have your real names in them. <laughs> you got a problem, God? Well, technically, not many people know my real names. It's fine. <laughs> I could go for something even simpler if we oh, want no, no, to no, use no, the no, no, part. Just an observation. I just found I it. I still funny. like Bob. All right, uh, Ike, what was yours again? Agent, Agent awesome. awesome. Agent Awesome. Right. Yeah. Cool. You need sunglasses. So we have Satoran of the Iron Curtain, Agent Awesome, Thrask Inquisitive, or Inquisitor, and Maple. Yeah. Nah. All right. Perfect. Wait, I need to sound fancy. So it's Maple Sticklington. <laughs> Sticklington. Yes. Uh, what's your um, what's your group name? Because like, you can't be Destiny, with that, obviously. Oh. Uh. How about the uh, the doily dudes. The doily dudes. <laughs> I was gonna say the Destiny duds, but um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The bodacious bandits. <laughs> Do you want to be known as bandits? <laughs> Hello, officer. Yes, I am bandits. All right. Yeah, you're right. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I need to stop. You know, fuck it. The, whatever. Doesn't matter. What about these dudes? These dudes. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, these dudes. Wait, we're trying to be like super nice to make people think that we're not up to anything. Uh huh. So we could we could just be the guys that aren't up to anything. Yeah, that could be it. The guys who are down to something. I don't know. We could just pretend we're paladins. We're like the order of good boys. No one will no one will like, find fault with that. Mm -hmm. We're we're the dudes that are down with stuff, yo. <laughs> what I'm is gonna the name go of this, before this whole city Kurt's again. More. Sorry, what was the name of the city? Uh-huh. Uh, Brizo. Bri Brizo? Uh, B-R-I-Z-O. Brizo. Let's see. Oh my god, why are we... <laughs> I, I, I have sort of an idea. Okay. <laughs> um... I'm trying to see if I can think of the... the one more letter to make it work. Um... Like the Brizo Evaluation Association of, of something with the letter N, just so we can make it spell Bean. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, just in chat. A mermaid puts on the fedora. I can the mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! The bigger the hat, the fancier you are. Ah, God. yes. I agree. Holy shit, so fancy. Maple <laughs> Sticklington, I think you need one of those. Oh, that's true. I don't know, I, I'm a Sticklington. I already have a stick in my hair. That's like. But the stick fancy. needs a hat. <laughs> true. Okay, that I cannot complain about. <laughs> oh, wait, no. It needs a mustache. 
Yes. Excellent. The mm. Sticklington coat of arms. <laughs> Please refer. So are we good? To, don't refer to me. Refer to my stick. <laughs> it does look like a stick, man. Look at him. Oh, yeah, okay. So yeah, um, the Brizo Evaluation Association Network. There we go. Bean. Nice. Bean. <laughs> Brizo. Uh, Brizo. What was it? Evaluation. Value. Association Network. Just saying, like, we're evaluating the city for quality purposes. Like, how, how, what the current, um, feel for residents in the area are in regards to the current ruling party and how th things have been working in terms of the entire setup of government, along with various other aspects of life in Breeze. Wait! Thrice, that's actually a really good idea! You can pretend that maybe you're, like, a, um, reporter trying to do some stuff or find some, like, information. He, um, does, he does have a turtleneck. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> you can pretend that you're doing, like, research on, like, maybe the corruption of the palace or something. You should, you should get your paper and your pen and then you will look, like, really oh, important. Bring, bring my book out and just start yes. scribbling things in there. Also, can I have paper? Ah. I should just have regular paper with me. Uh, where do I... Do I have... Where did I put that? Yeah, parchment. So yeah, I can hand you a few sheets of parchment and such. Well, Azalea is going to stuff them into her bag. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> the turtle bag! <laughs> ah! <Yes. laughs> there we go. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god! So fancy. <laughs> After we're done, come to my new art exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you put a notepad in front of the the turtleneck? Dude, <laughs> full disclosure, you kind of just look like Steve Jobs if he was a <laughs> <laughs> That okay. should be your code name, Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah. It's awkward. Now I have to draw this. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Jeeves Stobbs. Jeeves Stobbs. <laughs> Why did the scales come off? <laughs> That's what I'm here to find out. I am here to Hi. revolutionize the city of Brizo. Welcome to my Thrask talk. <laughs> Introducing the eye shell. <laughs> <laughs> it's a phone. It's a music player. It's a magic device that you can use for whatever needs you have it's you definitely all in one you don't need to sign any packs for it oh, okay maybe one but all i need is 1200 gold and it's yours <laughs> <laughs> God. all right there we go. I mean, you guys. We have made be... something great here today. <laughs> you, guys can, you guys can be more ready. All right. Let's go. Good luck, guys. Go. <sighs> this is gonna. This is gonna be so something. You're with me then. Apparently. All right. Well. Uh, so, um, Ika and. Uh, Marty, you go, you begin heading off uh, further up into the city. Uh, Ika leading you down uh, the specific roads, uh, knowing this place like the back of his hand. And uh, Thrask is there. You begin heading um, up and uh, to the right uh, with um, Dunnett's instructions. Uh, and you kind of um, we will go with you first, considering you'll, you'll be closer. Uh, you come across kind of like um, still very broken down estates, like um, uh, smashed and rubbish and crap all over the all over the floor in the place. Uh, you notice people in the, um, you, you notice uh, anybody you do come across tends to avoid your, your eye contact and uh, windows are being closed and stuff like that, um, not, un, not really recognizing you. You see a few people giving you a shifty eyes around the corners until you come across what looks like a, um, a fenced off area um, with, uh, someone, uh, with somebody standing out the front. Um, they're quite, they're quite tall and um, muscular. Um, 
with uh, a dark blue uh, sort of like shell like looking uh, hair in the shape of like what looks like a like a clam shell um, uh, standing outside leaning against the entrance leading leading to the entrance of where exactly now where you've been pointed um, that sword res resides oh okay Oh no, I could turn into a top hat. <laughs> <gasps> well, I mean, they still look good for themselves. It's a magician's hat. They actually just fell through. <laughs> mm. So, okay, so the building that sword is supposed to be in, it's it's fenced off and there's like a guard standing in the front of it, right? Yeah, there's a there's a big muscular looking mermaid dude with hair in the shape of like a clamshell um, uh, leaning out, leaning out the, uh, out the side on the door out the front to the, mm -hmm. uh, the location where you've been told that sword operates. Mm hmm. All right, well, but, um, Best way to cause the least suspicion is to act like you belong, so... Um... Azalea, did you want to change into anything before we talk to this guy, or do you want to keep as is? Hmm... Let me just check what other spells are in that slot. Mm -hmm. I only have one of those slots left, so probably better not to, because there's whole person in here which could be very useful. Right, right. I I will be my best self. And that's all we ask of you. Yay. Okay, so I'll just uh you know, act like um just try and get into like the idea of what I'm doing here. So I'll just Are we having are we having the the <laughs> the shut in otaku nerd? <laughs> trying to go into basically a drug den. Oh, I just... I don't know what's gonna happen, so I'm just... <laughs> the whole point of this adventure. drug sniffers. Uh. <laughs> it's like SpongeBob trying to get in the salty spittoon. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. I'm gonna send you this picture. Yay. Give me a second. Oh, did you see the turtleneck? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god <laughs> it's just got words written on it words <laughs> i love it so good you can uh, put that in the chat um i will what does that make me think of uh Where oh my that? god it's for you you're, you're um shittery from um log horizon a little bit <laughs> oh no this, this is what it makes me think of right here in the chat as well. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm pretending to write something down. <laughs> you look very professional. Uh-huh. Anyway, sorry, so I should, I should stop interrupting. They're gone. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, let's just go up and and see if we can... T well, should, should we wait and see if anybody else comes through that way? And then talk to them, or otherwise, we might be here a while if we do that. Oh wait! If we take a short rest by just what do they call it? A steak. A steak out. Oh, so you don't just eat steak. No, no, no. Um, I mean. If you had steak with you, you probably could, but no, it's just for watching an area and seeing if anything interesting happens for a certain amount of time. Oh, I call that hunting. Uh, it's sort of like hunting. You're staking out an area, waiting for possibly prey or something else to come through to help show you something that you didn't know before. So are we going to hunt this man, or are we going to talk to... I think we need to at least just talk to the guy and see what's going on. Okay, if he tries anything, I'll turn into a bear. <laughs> That'll stop him. Oh yeah, I'm sure it would. Alright, let's... Let's see if we can go... I'll just see if I can... 
go up to the guy and see if I can get his attention. Okay. Uh, you begin approaching, and how exactly do you do this? Um, let's see. I think I don't want I don't want to be too like like the way you described it, like the whole nerdy like how do you do fellow dealers <laughs> <laughs> um what's the oh try to act like vasex just he's like the closest one to that kind of thing right oh yeah that, that, Ooh. That, that i was trying to think possible. of someone we've seen before that would make sense right mm -hmm. yep 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 i could probably do that all right, I'll see if I can get a little bit into the mindset of that. Um, I'll just come up to the to the guy and say, "Excuse me, there." Yeah, he he, he turns down to look at you. Um, he's a good couple of feet uh, taller than you, and uh, he kind of just breathes out, and the, like almost like uh, steam or smoke comes from his uh, from his nose. Just staring down at you. Hmm. Well, I see you're taking your time to watch this humble little abode here, but I believe I have something that could help the person that possibly resides inside. You wouldn't happen to work for an individual by the name of Sword, would you? Uh, you see his eyes, um, like, uh, flicker a little bit. <clears throat> Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? I'm, I'm the individual that could possibly help him with his current predicament. Specifically, uh, certain family members that have been incarcerated by the higher-ups of this area. How do you know about the boss? <laughs> I know that it seems that he hasn't had much success in that lane, and I could be the very one to help him along with my associates. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh Perfect. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's instantly convinced. Um, yes! <laughs> all right. Dude. Um, he, he looks over to Azalea. And uh, kind of looks you up and down, and then looks at you. He's, um, stay here. And um, he kind of goes in and closes the door behind him. And uh, after about you know, ten or so minutes, um, he comes back and uh, opens the door and says, "Follow me." And I'll just, if I have. I keep thinking I actually have glasses on me because of the way I've got my avatar set up. Oh, fuck it. You, yes, you do. Why not? Sure. Yeah. I'll just I'll just push my glasses up and do that whole glare thing like you see in anime and just walk along with them and gesture Azalea to follow along. Yeah. yeah Azalea's going to be walking <laughs> with, like, both her arms out the side, you know, like the, the cartoon brutes do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need this <laughs> animated so it looks so cute. <laughs> yeah, no, I do, I, to be honest, you, you, he's dumb enough and you were, you were uh, smooth enough that I didn't feel you needed to roll for that. So. And you knew, yeah, inform you knew information, so well done. Um, as he, he guides you in and uh, you, uh, you head on up to like uh, a quite a tall, like old business looking building, smashed windows and like complete mess. And uh, before he gets to the uh, to the door, he turns around, and um, uh, there's a box like like laying outside. Just... Weapons in there. Hmm. So I can. Let's see. Yeah, I can at least drop. Uh... I can drop some of my daggers that are in there because I have some like drawing throwing daggers and things like that um but if I still have the staff I I would look at him and say really you're you're going to try and take away a walking stick from an individual such as myself for all yes. deception 
<laughs> that was really nice. Come on, come on, come on. Big boy numbers. Let's see. Yes. 16. Oh. All right. Uh, he look. He looks you up and down, and uh, he look takes a good takes a look at the stick, like really squinting his eyes. <sighs> Fine. And then nice. he looks over at Azalea. Weapons here. What is Azalea even good at in terms of uh? Uh, well, you, deception you, is of... zero. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was about to say, does Azalea have any weapons? Uh, technically she has a staff, but she doesn't really use it. Right. I can see her like. Putting the skirt down or like a stick and be like, here you go, or a berry. <laughs> Zalia will start taking berries out of her hair and putting them in the, <laughs> the thing. He grum he he begins to do a deep growl and pushes it pushes the box in further into you. Weapons here. Oh god, so I just thought of the stupidest thing, but I shouldn't, and that was to get Azalea to stand in the box. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I am oh, the weapon. I was, I was about <laughs> to say, I was gonna kind of go along with that. You said, if you want her to just get in the box, she can, because my associate is the weapon herself. Nice. Roll Damn. deception. Let's try this again. Come on. Big numbers. Yeah! Natural 20! <laughs> Oh hey. my god, he Yo. is the weapon! Somebody <laughs> forged her! <laughs> uh, with that, he kind of pulls the box away, and you can kind of see him, like, look at, look at the box and look at her. Um, and you can kind of see him, like, shake his hands a little bit, and the box begins to kind of shake. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> um, and he puts the box to the side and um, uh, uh, opens the door to let you in. And uh, Azalea, as you, hmm? oh, go on. I was going to say, Azalea will raise her, uh, uh, like, up and down, raise her non-existent eyebrows that no one can see. <laughs> he, um, he sees you raise your eyebrow and he kind of like... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> um and then the cl door closes as you come on in um again completely destroyed place glass everywhere um but inside you see a few different um a few couple of other people like four or five other people uh much smaller stature than him um working on various different um concoctions and uh potions and sharpening blades and stuff like that um, and he guides you, uh, he, he begins to guide you up, up the stairs, uh, each of them staring at you as you do. Um, and as you, you begin heading up the, uh, the, the, the brick and stone stairs, um, as you notice it gets, like, more and more dilapidated as you go, until you get up to, um, about the fifth floor, and, uh, you come to a door. And uh, he he uh, he just gestures to you. Wait here. And uh, he he well. heads on he heads on in. Yeah, uh, inside you hear like some muffled talking, a little bit. Until he uh, uh come uh, till you hear a, a different voice from inside. Come on in. Yeah, I start walking in. Azalea can follow along. I shall. You open the door to uh, see uh, a, uh, a gentleman uh, leaning up against uh, on his uh, on a chair, with his feet up on the on a, uh, a destroyed desk, uh, uh, who stares you down. You um. He's wearing uh, sort of like very tight black leather all the way down with various belts and uh, like amenities 
around him, uh, a couple of knives on each of his arms. Um, and on on the top of him, he's wearing uh, like a a black leathered hood uh, over his face, covered with um, uh, like a cloth across his mouth. He's and he um, as he he kicks his uh, feet off and stands up and begins walking over to you two, as he approaches you both. I want to know how you know about my sister. Oh, my sources are my own, Mr. Sword. But assure me when I say I believe we both want the best for her, as well as any other beneficial things that may happen after her release. What do you gain from her release? Well, to be frank, it's not so much her release that I gain from, it's what I will be gaining in information in regards to her release. He, tilt, he tilts his head a little bit and he grabs one of his knives from his arm and kind of flicks it around and playing around with it a little bit. Let's stop messing about. What do you want? Hmm. Straight to the point. I appreciate that. Here's the thing, Mr. Sword. My associates and I have seen the conditions of this city and the dilapidated nature of certain parts of it. We realize that some of the higher-ups have been causing some of that for quite some time, for much longer than we have been in this city, but my associates are willing to go in and see if we can uncover the truth about all of this. And we've, through our sources, we've learned that your sister being incarcerated could provide leverage in terms of that. See, we believe that you must know something about the inner workings of that palace in there. And if you want to get your sister out, my associates would be more than willing to help as long as you provide us the proper information in regards to it. Well done. He, he, uh, he kind of, um, he looks up a little bit and then t kind of steps back a little bit. He gra he puts his hand up on his, uh, uh, on his hood and his mask and he pulls them both down to reveal, um, a human. Oh. A scar, a bold, bold head and a scar across his, um, across his face. Let's get one thing straight. I fucking hate this city. But my sister... And he kind of looks down. She did nothing wrong. She's in there because of me. And if you're able to get her out and prove her innocence... I'll help you. But he, and then he grabs his knife and puts it under your throat. But if I find out you're lying to me, I'll gut you like the lizard you are. <sighs> Thras tries to keep the... keep his composure and just go... Believe me, Mr. Sword, I've dealt with far more dangerous individuals than you, but you can also believe me when I say that I have no in ill intentions towards you or your sister. We can get her out, you'll get us the information to get in deeper, and then we can go both go on our merry way to make sure that she's innocent and you get out of this hell-forsaken hole. I still don't trust you, but... You can help get my sister out. We got a deal. <laughs> well, I think that is a very good first step. He uh, flicks his knife back into um, back into it, the slot that it came from. Is uh, well. Let's see. You want to break into the palace prison? You want crazy motherfucker? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want to consider myself crazy. I'm just enjoying life more than everybody else. That's a good line. 
Uh, he, and uh, he looks over to um, Azalea and says, What about her? Ah, well, this is one of my associates that I was speaking of. This, this here is Maple. You can refer to her as. And she is one of my uh, bits of muscle that I help use in certain situations. And she is more than capable of bending to the situation as it calls for it. Oh, wait. I don't know if it'd be dangerous or not. I was gonna say, could I technically use primal savagery just to make my the claws on my hand just elongate for a second? Yeah, so no, you can absolutely do that. Okay, so that I look like I, I'm I'm somewhat I'm not useless in this situation. Yeah, uh, roll me an intimidation check. Oh, that's terrible. Come on, you got this. <gasps> I got an 18! Yes! There you go! Yes! Let's go! Oh! Um, all right, uh, as he turns to look over to you, um, he, uh, your, uh, you open your mouth and it elongates, and as uh, as the teeth begin to um, grow and crack at the bone, your claws also grow, and you slice um, a chunk out of the ground with them. And um, he just looks over to you, <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's only a small taste of what she can do, but like I said, she's bendable to the situation. All right. Me and my fellows, uh, we can do this. So, what do you need? Well, first off, let's start off with what you know. What, what do you know about some of the uh, guard placements around the palace on the outside? Any kind of rotations that they may have? Any kind of uh, weak openings that you may have seen before when casually strolling about? He, uh, he, he thinks, ponders for a moment. He goes, well, there's about 500 guards in this city. 50 of them in the palace. I know that for sure. As for weaknesses, hmm. I think I know one. They have this ridiculous tradition. They're uh, apathetic who, uh, this apathetic guard names Gil. And he is old as fuck. The only keeping him around as an ornament these days for his many years of service. But, uh, that dude should have died years ago. He's always fallen asleep and you can easily get past him, especially during the night. Hmm. That's definitely a good start for sure. As for the rotations, they rotate the 50 guards every now and again. But only every they wrote back. They rotate the fifty guards every day. But the guards at the front, they're uh, they rotate them every couple of hours. Okay. Guards at the front. I'm typing on my notes here. Mm-hmm. Of hours. Cool. And uh, he uh, is. I've got something else. Uh, he goes, God damn it, your southern accent's getting on me now. Um, <laughs> roll, yeah. That's what I just kind of slipped into to try and be intimidating somehow. <laughs> well, now I got uh, my secret Kentucky Fried recipe. <laughs> <laughs> um, he goes over and um, he grabs um, what looks like uh, an image of, uh, like a map of the front of the, the front entrance of the... Um, uh, of the palace. Mm -hmm. Thing for you. Aha. I'll put it in the. I'll put it on the screen for you in a minute, chat. Okay, I see it. I see it. You're pretty. It is very nice. 
Whoa, that wow, was massive. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big castle. Those pillars are immaculate. Okay. Wow. Yeah. There we go. I gotta learn how to draw this good man. <laughs> Don't we all? Um, so, and then he, he begins pointing out to you, he's like, um, Oh, palace is surrounded by a, a moat of water. Okay. Two guards at the, uh, at the lions, and then two more at the back. On the inside after that, pretty much free reign until you get inside. Good, good to know, good to know. Hmm. Now, as for the the prison block here, uh, what level of the palace would it be on, would you know? Basement. Basement floor. I suppose there's appropriate places to put a prison, then. Now, once we get your sister out of that predicament, we may have to go through some of our own missions as well. Um... Would there be higher concentrations of guards where there are some of the higher ups that live in this estate? Uh, are you talking about like the the noble area or in the palace? Um, like in the palace. I can't say. I don't know. I've not been mad enough to break into this place, not yet, anyway. <laughs> but if you're going in, I'm joining you. Hmm. You consider yourself quite the stealthy individual, Mr. Sword? Oh. Oh, yeah. I can get it. I can break in there. Breaking out is the problem. <laughs> well, that's definitely reassuring to know. So, once we get past the smattering of guards that are on the outside of the front entrance... Uh, inside will be a different story, but luckily I have other associates that are currently working to get the inner workings and details of that. So we got a running moat here in the front of the, surrounding the palace. Looks to me we also have some openings here going by these lion head fountain waterfalls here. I imagine that has to be going somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't know where, but I can assume so. Hmm. Could be an option to slip in there without having to go through the front door. Hmm. So would our elderly sleepy guard be somewhere near the front of this entrance, or is he on the other side of the moat? He's at the front. That's it. He's at the front to, uh, as a showpiece. You'll know exactly who he is. He's wearing bright gold armor. Hmm. Elderly and gaudy. What a combination. All right. So if the guards are spread out through here, we may be able to have our group come in through relatively unnoticed. Uh, as for you, Mr. Sword, do you plan on bringing any extra individuals along with you, or is this a personal mission? <clears throat> My boys can, uh, work on the outside. They can make distractions or make light work of any of the lower-level guards. But going on the inside, just me. Understood. How many do you have in total with you? Twenty. All right. Yeah. With my group, we're keeping it more of a small strike team level, if you would, including myself, around four individuals at least. Trust me, will be enough. But including you will be five, piercing into the inside workings of the place. Uh, your man may be able to handle some of the outside perimeter situations. But again, we need to figure out what is going on with the inside, whether we need to have some of them come along with us or to keep your man on the outside. 
All right. But so this deal. is valuable information. Okay. Final question. When are you doing this? Hmm. It'll be soon. We're hoping to get our information here today and then maybe in the within the next 24 hours or so, we're hoping to make our move. All right. Well, is there a way I can get back in touch with you, Mr. Sword, or would you rather I visit you again here as the, in this humble abode? Seeing you coming in, coming in and out of here will be a problem. Take this. And he flicks you over uh, something from his pocket. As you uh, take a look at it, you realize uh, you're familiar with this tech. It's a sending stone. Perfect. Ah, well, I believe that'll work mighty fine, Mr. Stone. Thought. Unless you're talking to the stone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just reverberating. I believe that will. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll pocket the stone then. Okay, well, I'll be ready in 24 hours. All right. I'll be sure to keep you posted, and, uh, pleasure doing business with you. He nods his head and then uh, heads on back to his, uh, his desk to, uh, figure out a few things. And, um, uh, the guard with the shellfish hair, uh, begins to, uh, walks over to you and begins to kind of, like, usher you out, making sure to keep his hand very far away from, um, Azalea's mouth. Oh, uh... Azalea is going to just, just like, try to get Sword's attention for a second. So I want to make a separate deal. Uh, as he begins heading on back, he stops and turns around. And says, oh. You want out of the city, right? Yeah. Me and my sister can... are gonna get out of here. Where were you planning on going? Don't really care anywhere but here. Good, okay. I would like to make a deal with you then. I can get both you and your sister out of the city within minutes after our escape. No strings attached. I just need you to deliver a message when you get there. Okay. I'll give you a piece of paper on the day. All we need is to get to a tree. We get to a tree, and I can get you out of the city. He takes a thing. Cause... Who am I delivering this message to? I'll tell you on the day. No, you tell me now. Azalea's oh. gonna just look at Thrask and just kind of, um... Can he leave the room for a minute? <laughs> uh, Thras is kind of surprised by this, but t just to not cause too much uh, contention, he's like, all right, all right, just to keep things civil. I'll go ahead and collect my daggers from, from the box here outside. Uh, the, the, the big guy uh, begins to usher uh, you out, Thrask. All right. Okay, and uh, so back inside. You're telling me who? I ain't. I say something. Okay, that sounds awful. Um, <laughs> no, um, I'm not gonna be put in a trap here. There's two people you can send the message to, uh, depending on which one's easier to find. One is called Regla. He is. I guess the guy in charge, uh, I'll be sending you to a place called Hapori. Uh. Otherwise, you can find Cedric. Cedric is... He's my son. He's not a problem. He's... He, if you're in trouble, he'll come running. So he's probably the best person to find in the first place. I just need you to deliver a message. Well, I remember Hapori. Yeah, I could do that. Cool. You'll be free. 
as free as you can be up there. It's not the best. Better than down here. Okay. Deal. I appreciate it. And, oh. Uh, uh, if Vapori is not to your tastes, uh, you could always try the elves. They're getting a bit better. I'll think about it. Yeah, and she's gonna, like, slowly walk out the door. Okay. Oh. And, uh, as you do, uh, the big guy is waiting there for you. And, uh, again, trying to keep away from your mouth. Um, <laughs> uh, ushers you, but, uh, begins, uh, walking forwards and, uh, uh, guiding you back. You, you get all the way down and, uh, you can retrieve all your weapons and, uh, you head, as you head on out, uh, he takes you out the gate and then closes it shut as he, uh, to, uh re resets his position that you found him in. So, yeah, after, oh, I guess I gotta put myself back on there. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. So after we uh, walk out of the way and uh, do, well, I actually should say to Azalea, do we want to try and head towards where uh, Madi and Ika went? Hmm. Or should we... I mean, it might be better if we do head that way, because if they get in trouble, it might take us a bit before we even get anywhere near them. Right. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting when you got out there and got out of the way, you'll have like a... <laughs> I, was, yeah. I, was, I was about to get into this like it's like and can I and I, I make sure I'm out of earshot it's like and can I just say that was so crazy <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that voice came out of me he said that's the first time I've ever heard something like that before he said I just went into the moment there and it's like oh, I felt so cool and like, I know I mean even getting the no, no I mean I was feeling cool before, but that, that was, that was hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Is you can... you, is just going to pat you on the head, just like cautiously. It's just like, yeah. good, that's it. Good, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tell he's a warlock, sorcerer, multi-class, because damn, he's got the charisma. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, whew, swipe, going over to the, uh, to Ica and, um, uh, Marty. Okay. So you guys, uh, during this whole time, you uh, you guys have been heading further up. Uh, you head on through uh, to past the the, the, the tiny market uh, with a stat with a statue of the king standing there. Uh, you begin heading on over the bridge, um, and um, as you uh, you begin head, yeah, like I said, you. Oh, sorry, actually, no, no, never mind. You actually you. Uh, you see, you see the bridge ahead of you, which has a couple of guards uh, posted there. As the the centerpiece is a well guarded um, uh, sort of like emporium for some of the more uh, expensive pieces of like uh, literature and art and stuff like that of Brizo. So you head um, instead to the left and take a smaller sort of like bridge across, and you find yourself in the uh, the top, the north of. Um, the city uh where everything is a lot more uh pristine and put uh, uh, the, the the ground the very ground itself and the the buildings are like a lot of beautiful pearlescent um I mean, like uh stone and like golden roofs and uh, uh the people around you are dressed in much finer attire um and you're surrounded by um a ton of like different stores selling uh with the selling uh wares which you wouldn't even consider seeing in many other places Ooh. wow talk about scenery whiplash yeah every part of here is a little bit different than what i'm used to no kidding it's uh kind of almost uncomfortable to be here yeah exactly all right well Let's keep an eye out for this maid, and hopefully we'll get out of this section as soon as possible. Hmm. For your sake. I have a feeling you don't want to be here as much as I do. 
Nah, not really. Actually, Monty, can I can I talk to you about something? Sure, fire away. We got time. Um. Okay. So I guess gonna kind of like look around. Is there like anywhere that's a little secluded? Maybe that's like overlooking some water or something. Uh. Yeah. Uh. You. Uh, as you look around, uh, you notice um to the you well you know um to the to the far left uh or west of the area is where you guys came in um and that's surrounded by huge pools of water uh with a few um sort of like um uh, sort of like uh like like cafes and bars and um a few other smaller like houses uh like with docks leading to the water and stuff like that. and a, a little bit of like a man-made beach sort of area okay i guess gonna go over to like edge of the water or something and just kind of like sit at the edge for a little bit and uh try to kind of gather his thoughts all right uh maddie like you know keeps a respectable distance to not make them uncomfortable and kind of just sits down he's like take your time kid hmm <laughs> Uh, hold on. I was surprised in another doodle. Oh. That's adorable. I love it. I love Thrask and fancy shit. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> fancy this needs, stuff. This it's needs the to best. be a fan art challenge. Everyone <laughs> draw. Thrask and fancy shit, that's my favorite gender. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. A lot of rock The starfish bucks? You know what? Now there is. Starfish bucks. Wow, missed opportunity to not call it Seattle's best. Wow. Oh, I should have called this place Seattle. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Bum, bum, Try to find bum, the right bum. damn music. I okay, never, I, okay. I, I, I didn't name anything. Emotional. Take your time, it's fine. No, it's the moment. I mean, you fine, have the power panic. to summon the maid whenever you want, so it's fine. <laughs> she emerges from the water, naked <laughs> as the day the god made her. <laughs> Avert thy eyes. <laughs> I so knew it. Wow. <laughs> so the scales do come off. They did. They really came off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of this esteemed court, I say, I say. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna have to. Um. All right, stand by, everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, this works. Never mind. I'm cool. a Never mind. I had some. I'm a genius. Uh, I'm Very. so smart. All right, go ahead. Uh, hey, um. Muddy. Yeah. Um. So, you know how, like, you know how my uncle is, right? He's a little old. bit of, um, I would say strange character. That's kind of putting it mildly, yes. Yeah, but I'm sure you've noticed that a lot of people, at least the place where I grew up, there's a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of stealing. Who is this? I, uh... Go on. I just want to be honest, um, but when I've been... Before I met you, I used to steal a lot, too. Um, and I know that you guys don't like thieves. I We've run into a whole bunch of them, and... And a lot of the times, you guys' reactions were always negative. And I know if you might hate me for this, but when I was little, my mom was really sick. And, um, kind of had to steal to survive. But sometimes, I kind of did things out of curiosity. When my mom passed away and she gave me this key, I was trying to find out where it belonged, and... Honestly, it kind of got me in a lot of trouble. 
And there'd be times when I went into some of the churches and other places around here, and I may have broken in and tried to see if the key would fit there. And I know it's stupid now knowing what it is, but um, at the time I didn't know any better. And at the time, it's all I really had. And when I heard about the competition and there being a reward to it, I thought maybe it would point me where the key would go. But at the time, I will admit, I've done a lot of thievery. I've done a lot of bad things. And before we continue, I just... I don't know. Do you hate me? Kid, there's not a thing you could have told me that would make me love you less. No. You... <laughs> I guess gonna be tearing up. Did I ever tell you about my first job as a mercenary? No. <laughs> Let's just say I have no right to judge you for doing things you had to do to survive. I'm not an innocent man either. I'm sure there's reasons why my group and I got attacked in the first place. Maybe we attacked the wrong people, maybe we took the wrong jobs, but we have to do what we need to do to survive. And the idea of right and wrong, there's no absolute decision. It's all really gray. And the fact that you can acknowledge it and realize it was mistakes, I think says a lot about who you are now. And I'm really proud of you, kid. Oh, Ika's eyes are just going to fill with water and he's just going to hug him real tightly. <laughs> Maddie returns the hug and just kind of rustles his hair. I was really worried. A lot of the times when we saw thieves, a lot of you were trying to attack them, and I understand. And if you guys want to attack me or anything, I understand too. And it's not like I was doing things sometimes to survive. I was doing it out of curiosity and honestly a little bit of ignorance, but um, I was just so worried that if you guys came here and you found out, you would hate me too, so. Like I said, I could never hate you. And think of it this way. Those were the decisions made by Ika, the young kid. It's Ika, the young man now, that is able to reflect on those decisions and learn from them, right? Right, but... Do you sometimes think that maybe, maybe our gods were wrong? Like, maybe I'm, I, I wasn't meant to be the one? Honestly, I did, I do think about that. Thraska's town and his family and everyone there adored him. Even, even while we were there, even in the past. The people here... Money, I don't... They don't respect me. They don't like me. It's not like I can change anything. I'm not going to be able to help them. Like, like Thrask was. I'm not going to be able to do anything. They see me as nothing. I'm just a child. I'm just a thief. I just belong down there in the bleached. I, I, I'm not anything. My, my best friend is a dragon turtle who doesn't even like us either. I've been a nobody all up until I met you guys. I don't even have friends. No one would take me seriously. They hate me. And if they find out I have their god in them, they're, they're gonna hate me even more. Because they're gonna know I don't... I don't deserve that. I don't deserve to have Saren. I know it. They know it. Maybe I should just stop here. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why would you want the respect of people who don't care about you? But also, at the same time, would you really turn away from doing the right thing not just because the mermaids don't like you 
do we want to turn our back on everyone else? I don't want to turn my back on them, but they're they're not even going to take my help. I mean, what about if they don't even want it? What if I'm such a disgrace that they turn their back on Saren? We'll figure out something when that time comes. Perhaps, maybe the king, when we finally get to speak to him and reason with him, things can change. I don't know. I, I don't know, Monty. I also have another person in my family who's here. And, um, if he steps in, I don't, I don't know if I'll get that chance. Your father. Right. If he steps in, then I'll get in his way. So we may not be a blade of my blood, but he looks at him with a big smile. But you are my son. No. No, I guess just gonna start crying. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, um, can we just keep this between you and I for now? <laughs> Lips are sealed. I'm just, I'm not, I don't think I'm ready to tell them. It's honestly part of the reason why I wanted to go with you instead. Well, I get that. And I'll always respect your decisions and support whatever you want to do. You tell him when the time's right. Also, if I do come across my dad, can you promise me something? Sure. That you don't get in the way. You want to face him on your own? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's my boy. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess gonna kind of shake it off a little bit, wipe his eyes, and be like, "Okay, <sighs> well, <sighs> we've got a job, so, and they're counting on us. Let's right. go find that maid. I, I guess. Yeah. Lead the way, <laughs> oh, Agent God, Awesome. This, uh, this, uh, oh, this sentimental moment. Okay, now let's go get you some ass. Yeah, let's go. Get you some ass. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Let's go check out titties, please. Oh. It's the only thing that can fix this moment. Oh, that's the only thing I need. Come on, to... son. I need to. I need some details. Uh, hey, Monty. Yeah. Can I get a coffee? Tell you what, you can get two. You've earned it. Okay. All right. So I guess um. I go stand up and uh, start walking towards the main road. But um, is there like a hmm? Let me look at this map. So she's known to be like north and a little bit towards the uh, west. You said or east? So, um, she enters. She exits from the palace, which is the top right. Comes mm. down those stairs, and basically heads north uh, up that northwest. Um, uh, road and into the smaller houses at the top. Got it. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well. When I used to um need a scout for things, it was always good to get a height advantage. Maybe oh, there's a uh, there's a few buildings over here that maybe we could climb up and get a good sight. You've got really good perception. <laughs> yeah, not a, bad, not a bad idea with the four eyes. We might be able to spot her instantly. Yeah, so uh, I think what Ike is going to do is try to think back to that area in one of the tallest buildings with the least amount of guards or any sort of, like, anybody at all and try to go towards there. You know what? Let me let me add the map, actually, into the thing so I can stop. I can actually just ping place. Okay. Yay. Huzzah. I'm also going to re-paste it for my own, like... Okay. 
Yeah, I was gonna pin it, but I don't know if I have the ability to do that. Yeah, none of us do. Only Andy can pin things. Ah, you bunch uh... of plebs. <laughs> <laughs> Just give us You power, may have God. gods in you, but I am a god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am not a king. I am not a god. I am... <laughs> I just am. I am a gremlin. I am. <laughs> I am in charge. I am. Yep. All right. Much easier. Huzzah! Look at that. Ooh, nice. Pretty. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. Um, <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, so you would know this building here. Oh, okay. Is um, essentially um, a, a clock, a clock tower. Okay, so I guess gonna go up there and um, essentially, uh, with clock towers, they typically have like a way to just go up naturally, like some stairs and stuff. So, is there anybody guarding it? Anybody around it? I'm uh, there's not. people. There's a few uh, people walking around, but there's no one guarding it now. Okay. Um. I guess just, just walk through here. What do you think, Monty? I would rather do that than try to climb up the tower. I'm sure you could, but I'm not taking that risk. <laughs> it's okay. I used to do this all the time. Plus, sometimes I would adjust the clock just to mess with some of these royal guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's go. God damn it. So, like, I'm so just cool gonna go in. <laughs> my god. Hmm. Uh, I guess so, gonna go in and just sneak ahead to make sure there's nobody in there, but um, he's gonna go essentially straight to the top, assuming this is kind of a place he's used to. Oh yeah, yeah, the, you know this whole city inside and out. Um, mm. Okay, so uh, how exactly are you uh, trying to get up? Uh, just up the stairs on the inside to scale upwards. Okay, uh, well you come to the front of the door and uh, it's locked. Okay, we lock pick. Yeah, I know, I know the equivalent for you is basically just looking at it. It should evaporate, but try and <laughs> roll it and roll it anyway. I Let's blinked. See. What would a uh, lock... Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand? Oh, neat. <laughs> what is this? Plus, what? like, 20? No, plus... Two. Oh. No. What? Oh, I'm in the wrong character sheet. My God, sorry. Whoopsie. No I've been worries. on the wrong character sheet this entire time. My God. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> I was wondering what was wrong. Uh, not God form. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, my sleight of hand isn't a plus five. It's a plus 17. Oh, that's that's saying, more man, like man, it. Man, that's man, a man. godlike ability. ability. And you still roll a natural one? I still got that one! God. Oh, no. But still, it's an 18. Oh, mm. God. Okay. But it's a critical <laughs> fail. Yeah, it's true. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> okay. Wait, do I even have a lockpick? Inventory. You're like, I think I can pick this lock. You look down, it's a banana. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, oh, what's still, my I, bad? I've still got this. <laughs> okay, well, either way, um, you 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 take out um, basically anything the equivalent of you. you th at this point, you're so knowledgeable on it that you could use even a fork, and this would still work. Um, you uh, you manage to pick it like 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 that like it's nothing um, and it, it breaks apart and uh, but unfortunately it falls to the ground with a loud thunk uh, and everyone around you uh, like all the people war nobles walking around and they like kind of turn to see you at the door. Oh no, worry, we're just fixing it up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're uh, we're gonna fix this door. Uh, yes, um, it, it was having an issue lately. There was definitely about to, like, fall off just like my associate had happened right there. We're gonna mm -hmm. fix it. <laughs> Lickety split. Yeah. Um, roll me a deception, both of you. Okay. <laughs> Come on, if I can do it, so can you. 21. Uh-oh. Well, I don't have a really good deception here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, they 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 look they, they begin looking at Ica and they they like they they basically just clearly a child is not going to be employed by uh uh like the the city to do this and then they look up towards Maddie 
um you wearing um essentially a, a leather jacket at this point um and they 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 have a little bit more understanding that you might be and it's like oh, oh, oh how unusual they're they're employing children now and um some kind of grease monkey orc oh goodness let let us leave him shivery oh oh yes yeah yes Kurt, gertrude of course and uh, um, yes my apprentice yes uh apprentice good job we gotta right. work on the work on the follow-up but yeah t- tally ho good 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 chap they, 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 they kind people. of they kind of look at you <laughs> both with like utter weird disgust for, for many different reasons um and uh they, they they just go about their day ignoring you yeah, that's about right all right well well, I'll, I'll mend that as soon as we get to the other side yeah. of the door. <laughs> I'm just going to step in and just like, we just pick up the door, <laughs> put that bitch back on. <laughs> go, go through the other side and I just cast mending to fix the fucking lock. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... Unfortunately, your mending is so good that you find now find yourself locked in with a DC lock of 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and the door is alive. <laughs> it's gained sentience. <laughs> the door is a mimic. Anyway, uh, you break. Okay, so you 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 make you enter on in, making sure to I mean, do it as securely as possible, and you close the door and um, uh, you you hear it like good close, and uh, you look on in to find it stored with some various different barrels and stuff like that, and uh, a winding staircase leading all the way to the top. Okay, I guess gonna immediately just kind of bolt it up to the top. Okay, uh, Assuming you, uh, that Marty can run up those stairs. Yeah, no problems, fine. <laughs> yeah, you got it! Yeah. yeah, you got that god in you! Gotta, Let's go! Gotta get my steps in! <laughs> yep! Oh, I didn't really- I, I only just occurred- this only just occurred to me, but with- with the emotes of your guys' faces, it means the chat can roleplay you in chat. Oh my god. Oh. I didn't even think about that. have we not that. noticed that till oh, now? Oh no. What? Everybody's been doing that for like sessions, oh, guys. Oh, they've been doing it for sessions. I've noticed, but like, I just like every now and again. But then when Sora did that one, it's like, oh my God, you guys can like role play the character, like fully role play the characters in the chat. That's a genius. That's <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> Manny, yes. So actually, could you guys read that? Oh, oh, the one Sora put? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Manny? Yes. Where's the door? <laughs> <laughs> what door? Yeah. Almost four years ago. <laughs> hey, that's a gold 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 even if it means enduring the emotional damage months. I bring. Okay, but so we're running up the stairs. Maddie's trying not to have a heart attack. Come on, so, just, just put your, um, I don't know. Um, we gotta work on your cardio. Cardio's great. Let's go. Okay. Now, don't mind the pressure of being under this, uh, you know, underwater and stuff. It, it adds a lot, but it'll, it'll increase that, uh, that cardio, that endurance. You actually, uh. um, you actually notice, uh, in being inside here, um, especially you with you being outside of this, of this city for so long, um, it feels, uh, when you're in here, it, at this whole city, it actually feels as, as if you're on the surface. Uh, that you feel no under under pressure of, of any kind. Never mind, this is not a Dragon Ball Z moment. Go up those stairs, Maddie! I'm trying! Come on! Uh, Maddie, <laughs> Maddie, uh, Maddie begins, uh, like, slowly heading up the stairs, doing, like, that little, uh, like, slightly bigger gentleman, like, jog of, like, the arms in front, and then, like, yes. jogging, like, <laughs> then, like <laughs> the tippy tap up the, up the stairs. And Ika, you're just flip flopping from uh, like one level of the from the bottom of the stairs all the way to the next level, <laughs> and um, you make it, you end up making it to the top to a platform, and uh, you can see out from um, behind the uh, behind the uh, the clock, and to the side of it is a ladder leading up to a hatch at the uh, at the very top. All right, all hopefully right. that one's not locked. <laughs> Is it locked? Uh, you, uh, you climb on up to it and, uh, no. Oh, no, we're good. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that'd be really bad, because that was, like, the last fork that I had on me. Oh, man, that, that would have been super bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, you doing okay, though? I'm fine, I just... Were there always two of you? 
Oh. Right. Okay. Um. Maybe I should go up first, and then I'll try to maybe help you. Okay. <laughs> Why? Right. So let me catch my breath. You just you just go up there. No, I guess gonna jump up there and just kind of look around. And I guess whenever he sees Madi is good, he's gonna bring out his hand to help him. All right. <laughs> he comes up and he like he takes one big breath. Like, oh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, weird. It feels like running on the surface. Yeah. Um. But then, how come you're struggling so hard? <laughs> Maybe showing his hands. <laughs> I think I I feel like it's a drawback to the the meal we had at Thrask Place. Oh. Too many scorpions. <laughs> oh, got it. Can we see like uh the city from here now? Oh yeah. Um. So from behind the um. Uh, behind the uh, clock's face, um, it's a little bit dirty, but you can you can 100% see the city. Okay. Uh, yeah. Come here, buddy. Look. Yeah. Uh, oh. God dang! No wonder why you come up here. It's actually really nice at night. Oh, I bet. All right. So okay. We're looking for our maid. I wonder if she has any distinguishing features. Um. Uh, what do you mean, distinguishing features? I don't know. Something that would, like, you know, you would look at them and assume their name actually would be Madame Bass. Uh huh. Well, I don't. Just a guess, kid. It's just. How many other maids do you see? <laughs> um, okay. Uh. I guess roll perception. Uh, well, Matty can use his uh. Yeah, I can. I could just use the big old nat. You can just use twenty nine. <laughs> That's fair. You got twenty six. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I can see, but not as clearly as you. Oh god. Okay. Um, and what's yours again? Like just naturally twenty nine. Twenty nine. All right. <laughs> uh, you uh you press, but you both press your your heads up against the um uh the uh, the clock's face. Uh, looking in the direction uh, of the uh, of the palace, and um, there's still there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of people still about there. Um, but considering just how fucking good your your sting is, uh, you notice um, uh, you notice you seem to notice someone dressed in like black and white clothing, with a like a, a like a uh, what do you call it uh, like. like the thing you put on yourself to cover, like when you cook, preparing food and stuff like that. Oh, apron. Apron. That's mm. it. Like a, a fluffy white apron. Um, and you notice, uh, you notice her walking uh, up through the uh, up through the the uh, exactly where done it uh, mentioned. Um, and you are almost certain that this is Madame Bass, because, oh boy, does she have bass. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I'm looking around and I just don't know. It's really hard to find stuff. Do you see anybody, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> like Dory the Explorer. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I found her. Do you Wait, see do the you? ass? <laughs> I, I think I know why her name is Madame Bass. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> why did you suddenly grow eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious who you think it is. Uh, um, I'll leave it as a surprise for when we see her, but don't worry, I am looking very respectfully. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> now, is there is there a quick way to get down the ladder so we don't lose her? Um, uh, let's see. Well, what we could do is I could create an entire pool of water. We could just make like a water slide all the way down to the bottom. That However, sounds fun. Let's do that. Okay, well, I was gonna say it might draw some attention. Um, we could say there's a leak, <laughs> but some people might find that to be a very serious problem. <laughs> you know what? That's a very fair point. Okay, let's just let's just make it back. It's probably easier down than it is up. Right. Um. Well, what about? 
how about this? I make a water slide down the stairs, and then I stop the water as soon as we get down to the bottom. That way it doesn't leak out. You mended the door really well, so it shouldn't pour out. And if it does, we can just say, um... Uh... Bathroom break? That's genius. Let's do it. All right! So I is just going to cast water, and immediately the moment the water starts pouring onto the um, the staircase, he's going to jump in and just grab Monty. <laughs> we. <laughs> uh... so, hang on, hang on. Let me get this straight. What are you doing? <laughs> Casting I could turn... a water slide. I could turn the clock tower into a water park. <laughs> but only on the inside, not the outside, so water doesn't pour out of the outside. So you're, you're making a ton of water just go down the... Yeah, because Marty has old legs. They be thick, but brittle. Mm hmm Okay. We're trying um, to do things fast. I mean, there's still stairs, so... You, it's gonna uh, hurt. <laughs> yeah, uh, so roll me an acrobatics check. Oh, God. Neat. I mean, water slides tend to be smooth. Ow, no, no, no. I got a 24. Oh, no. A four. Okay, Ica, um, <laughs> you, uh, you begin sliding down, um, uh, almost as, uh, you begin, you begin sliding down, and, uh, again, your, your natural, uh, dexterity, your, you're basically able to avoid most of the stairs and just jumping down. Uh, Marty, you take your first step and basically just, um, cartoon... Boom, bing, boom, bing, boom, bing, boom, bing, boom, bing, boom, bing, boom, bing down. <laughs> until you end up about halfway and then you stop because you didn't roll in that one, so... But, um, you are in pain. How much damage should I take from that? <laughs> uh, nothing, it's nothing lethal, so... All right. But Ow. I like I've... to think that it's at the very bottom, like, oh, where'd he go? <laughs> he just starts walking down the rest of the way, defeated. Ow. 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 You were supposed to slide <laughs> down there, Monty. I did, but apparently the gods said otherwise. Huh. Maybe I should have cast Water Walk on your butt. <laughs> yeah, why didn't you? <laughs> I, well, I didn't know. You said it was fine. You thought this idea was great. What happened to saying I'm a young man with my own decisions? Well, what's your excuse? <laughs> I'm an old man. I'm allowed to make regrets. <laughs> I'm an old man. I just gonna like get rid of the water decisions. and be like, all right, let's go. Let's go find this um person. All right, hold still though. We gotta we gotta dry you off, and he just throws press a digitation to dry him off. Oh. Can't Me. approach a very nice lady wet. That'd just be rude. <laughs> or can you? Never so, mind. Let's just that go. Let's 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 go. You have a very particular set of skills. Oh, I was gonna say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna like, uh, it's the city secrets. Uh, you know the secret patterns and flow to cities. They oh, can find passages right, through. Right. And, uh, okay, that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean that. Like, what were you talking about? I was You're making, making a Liam Neeson reference. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I have a very particular set of skills. Oh. I don't understand you, references. And I will kill you. Oh shit. With passion. With passion and bootylicious, right. um, oh, my bad. Okay, you vibes. grew up on the streets alone. Uh, you had uh, no one to watch over you or provide for you, so you leaned to provide for yourself. You fought fiercely, blah, 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 blah. Um, this one says that I can travel. Oh, my God, this thing needs to go away. Uh, you can travel between any two locations in the cities twice as fast as your speed would normally allow. So we're just fucking Ooh. booking it. Oh my God! All right. Yep. You. Uh. You. As you. As you. As you both end, uh, exit the uh, the clock tower at the bottom. Uh. You know. Uh. You know the an ex a, a perfect shortcut with very few people, um, to be able to get directly to uh those houses, and as you do, you actually get there before she um before her and her her huge badonkadonk but were able to get there. Um, and you, uh, you, you find yourselves sort of like <laughs> about, you find yourselves about here 
and you see her coming up through here like the the street next to you okay all right she's right over there so gotta get yourself together oh my god you're so sweaty what happened i i know hold on hang on a second he just throws press of digitation on himself to dry off okay all right thank god i know that spell now mm -hmm. can you like press the digitate um he's nuts clone? hey yo ah. cool. well i can why do i smell that um i didn't want to tell you but a little bit <clears throat> Okay, uh, I think I can do that. <laughs> Damn, can I do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's just like, hold still, and like tries to think of like a nice smell. It would be like sea salt and lavender. Like, okay, maybe that, and then done. <laughs> wow, you do smell fancy. All right, it's only last an hour though, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what you did when you were on that cactus juice, but um, yeah, you needed to shower after that, but I didn't want to tell you because we ended up in the ocean. And anyways, we gotta go after her. Right, right, right. I thought the ocean would have taken care of it. That was my mistake. We live and learn. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's just very fish sheets. Just add salt. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh, all right. Well, you begin heading through, and um, you uh, you you get to a corner of um of one of the buildings, and you can see her coming uh up the up the road. Uh, as she gets closer, you notice um, uh, you notice she's probably about maybe like uh four foot five in height, um but about four foot wide as well um um <laughs> did you say four foot wide <laughs> are we talking about her ass <laughs> holy she a short stack or a wheel what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> no she's i'm trying to say she's short but wide <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, uh, basically no basically no middle to be to, to see like it's almost just entirely bosom and then legs um, good and around Lord. The, and, around, <laughs> and around and around the back um uh, really struggling to contain her voluptuous um madam bass at the back did you did you just like write sienna into this is this what no! you're like trying to say here <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm imagining like a base. I'm just imagining just like a tiny, like really big. Like, basically, you, you, um, you, oh, I'm trying to. I can't. I can't think. Um, whatever. No, I wasn't. Um, you've broken my husband, Pat. What have you done? I'm sorry. <laughs> it took this long. All he wanted was a big, big booty for you to love, and this is how you repay him. <laughs> Look, I want. I have questions. <laughs> He's trying his best as a DM to give everybody what they wanted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Are they also a mermaid? Are they? Uh, yes, uh, they are, are they a mermaid. Uh, so they have very, uh, very pretty, um, actually, uh, very pretty kind of like um, aquamarine hair um, that's all done up in kind of like a bun at the back. Um, and uh, a, a, a very a, a very nice um lovable like chubby face uh with rose uh rose tinted like uh cheeks um and a few oh like goodness, aquamarine scales coming up from their their neck oh my god they sound precious <sighs> okay 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 all right uh, okay yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have to get yourself together see, see this is i was fine but it was from a distance but now i'm close holy shit. okay um <laughs> You pep talk, good. pep talk. I need a pep, pep talk. talk. Okay, all right, all right, right. You are, um, my fuck. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're great. You're very strong. Oh, um... <laughs> okay, but um, if, if if she asks who you are, do you still want to be Agent Awesome or do you want a different code name just for the situation? Um, okay, all right, all right. I can be uh, your, 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 your Finn man. Um, okay, let's see. Um, what? Uh, what do um lovely ladies like? I don't know. I'm going with the knight persona. So what if you're also like a knight or like my ward or something? I don't know. Um, what about if um you are um uh maybe I'm trading under you because you're so awesome at what you do. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And out of the kindness of your heart, uh, your really really good smelling strong heart, uh, you're you're training me. Okay, all right. And I want to know more about the castle because um, I, I dreamed to be like you one day. 
Yes, you're you're training to be a knight for the mermaids, and you need to get into the castle so you know what you're protecting. Yes, this is good. Yes, this is good. Okay, we can do this. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, huh. you ready? No, but we got to do this. <laughs> All right, I can't really talk to strangers, so I'm really relying on you here. Okay, it's fine. I got this. Okay. I got this. Right. I got this. Okay, follow your lead. All right, we're going you in. You haven't moved. You haven't. You haven't I'm actually going. moved, money. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Are you going to go or? Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> okay. Uh, you step out from uh, from the corner, but um, uh, so how, how exactly do you step out from, from the corner? Um, it's like if I was pretending to be Regler, just like full oh, on like okay. nightly stance. Okay. Um, so you begin walking out, um, uh, standing very, uh, very proudly uh, and, and smile, like giving your biggest smile as much as you can. And you begin walking out, and um, you and she bumps directly into you and falls to the ground. Oh, <clears throat> he's like tries to put on a very like nightly voice. Are you all right, madam? Uh, and she she kind of uh, shakes shakes her head a little bit, and then uh, kind of looks up at you as. Oh. Why yes, I'm uh, I'm fine now. And uh, she puts oh, she, she puts her she puts her hand out towards you. <laughs> Maddie li- pulls out his like takes out his hand and like gently pulls her up. It's like my apologies. <laughs> I seem to need to keep an eye on where I'm going. Oh, uh, me too. <laughs> and she kind of looks you up and down. Oh, uh, what are you doing around here? Oh, I was uh, just taking my young ward on a uh, little bit of a training regimen, but it seems a very beautiful distraction got in my way. Uh, she, she, um, wow, apparently this caused someone to subscribe. Yes! <laughs> Let's do it! Yes! <laughs> Welcome Not only that, subscribe for three months in advance. Prepare oh, yourself. Yeah. Laughs, laughs, and overall fabulous. Thank you so much, Icarus. We're thrilled to have you as part of our crazy streaming <laughs> family. Let's soar together, my friend. Okay. Um. Anyway. Um. With that, her her cheeks go. Uh. Her face cheeks. Uh. Blush ex- excessively, and um. When she and as she stands up, um. She kind of um. Pushes herself so sort of like for more into you. And uh, kind of like uh, grabs uh, grabs a, lot, a hold of your arms. How about uh, how about you? Uh, we spend some time together. You know, it's uh, I'm sure you could take some time out of your busy uh, regiment. Uh, I'd be most delighted. Does the maiden have a name? Oh, you know me around these parts as uh, Madame Bass. <laughs> a beautiful name. My name is Sir Tol Ren of the Iron Curtain, and this is my young ward. Um, she, uh, she, uh, she takes a, bo- a moment to look down uh, at you, Ika. Oh, uh, Ika's gonna look at her and be like, "My apologies, Miss. I think I may have distracted him. I'm just trying to uh, learn from my my master here. He's so skilled at at fighting." And, um, I believe I may have asked him a little too many questions. So sorry. Oh, well, one can only be so focused around such a man. (laughs) We were actually going to go to a tavern to get some refreshments, coffee. Um, and I'm sure we'd be delighted to treat you for our, um, mishap. Now, now, young lord. I do believe we are in the presence of perhaps a royal subject. Perhaps there's something a little bit more her taste besides the tavern. Oh, well. Why do you need coffee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Yes, I, I, I do work in the, uh, in the palace, uh, I, t- I take care of uh, all the people in there, and sometimes I even get to take care of the king himself. But, uh. Ooh. 
no, this is, uh, this only so, you know, every now and again, uh, a, wo uh, a woman needs to have an adventure and get on out there and uh, find a man who can handle a sword. <laughs> oh, I can handle more than a sword, my dear. Right, so maybe we should find somewhere to treat her, right, Master? <clears throat> yes, um, how about we kill two birds with one stone? You see, my young ward is wanting to be one of the knights of the merfolk, such as yourself. And I'm sure one day he would dream of protecting the castle. Why don't you bring us there so he can take in the sights and I can take in the personal sights? He just looks at her with a wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what's the roll? I don't know. I want you roll something for seduction. For, is, what is, is, is happening? Persuasion. I think it's. Persuasion. <laughs> no. Oh god. No. She don't need persuading. Good fucking god. She doesn't need persuading. <laughs> uh, maybe a performance check. <laughs> That's later. <laughs> That's oh, <for> later. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. Roll right. for pan. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, you know what? Actually, yes, do me roll be persuasion, actually. Never mind. Okay. It, uh, yeah, actually, roll me persuasion. Because you're asking for something very Big over Big numbers, top. 23. <laughs> 23, okay. Um, uh, she takes a moment to... She thinks a little bit for a moment and... Um, to, hmm, well... I'm not supposed to have visitors, but... uh. I'm sure we can work something out. Oh, don't worry. I'll be your little secret. Want me to do it again? I'll drop an entire page. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, she kind of like uh, rubs her hand up and down um, your uh, rippling bicep um, dad bod. Um, yes. <laughs> like twirling some of the hairs on your uh, on your on your chest, and um, it's, I'm sure we can work something out. I won't be able to invite you in today, unfortunately, but uh, if you come and meet me tonight, I can sneak you in. Oh, good. I'm always a fan of anticipation. <laughs> Thank you for the gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. I didn't know this voice was so powerful. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Keep doing it. <laughs> no, anyway, we need a um, hype train. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, and um, so you show she um, uh, she gr gra uh, she kind of like grasps onto you and like um, grabs your um, like the top of your shirt and pulls you down and um, uh, like directly in your face isn't it? till tonight my love and then she gives you a huge kiss on the on the on the lips oh going to do this one bit Maddie, like it's still just like the smirk is like i look forward to the evening farewell sweet little mermaid she puts her hand on your on your on your lips and like until does that thing where like you know she pulls it down and then your lips flop back up um and she turns around and begins rushing and heading back. Just the the waving of her ass um, flying side to side. <laughs> uh, you're almost certain. Um, I'm being abused. I'm being abused one bit at a time. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, and um, you're almost certain the uh, 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 like. The the uh, the ocean is wave uh, uh, moves uh, as her as her ass does, um, and she heads on back into the palace. Well, I'd say that did really well. Um, now about that coffee, because after all of that, I kind of feel like I need something. Yeah, I, I blacked out. What happened? <laughs> oh, God. What do you mean you blacked out? I, I, I don't know. I just said be like Regler, and then I don't know. Everything went dark. Uh, well, uh, well, you nailed it, and I think our god is dying. Uh, oh, 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 no. oh, there he goes. Thank you, Icarus, for the 
Let the oh yeah, celebration the blush begin. on Maddie. You're right. I am so sorry, chat. Forgive me. This is all. I, this would have been the moment to use it, and I failed you. No, no, it's okay. You yeah, weren't yeah. the one blushing. She was. Yeah. Well, it looks like she's out of earshot, right? She's gone. Oh yeah, she's gone. Yeah. Um. Well, that's actually perfect. Now we have a way in, so the rest of us can sneak in. Good, because I don't think stealth is more my thing, but this. <laughs> it should be interesting. I'm not much yeah. of a stealth man. I'm more of a lover <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is great. That actually does a lot for us. Uh, yeah. Let's just hope that the others have a better sense on the person's schedule, the king's schedule. Uh, yeah. Um. Matt, let, let's go get you that coffee with some milk. I mean, black, black. We're getting it black. Yeah, you're getting. It. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, you head on out from the uh, the area that you're in to more of like the the centerpiece, uh, like the center town piece here. And uh, as you do, you see um, uh, uh, Thraska and Azalea. You uh, you see uh, Madi and um, Ika walking uh, down the center of the town. Oh, there they are! No. Oh. oh, hey! <sighs> Hi, hi. Oh, boy. You would not believe the stuff we just got into. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the weird things I've heard either. <laughs> oh? Um. Uh. I, I think I, I think I got a date. I think. Oh. Yeah, what? Marty may have introduced a different type of um, vernacular to my uh, understanding. Ah, I see. Um. Well, We're gonna get know. coffee, though. Oh. <laughs> Maddie just leans over to Thrask and says, "I don't think he needs to read Babuga anymore. I think he's got it." <laughs> right. I'll ask about that later. Um... Amy, where are you? <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> no, I mean you're not on the screen. Oh yeah, I know. Sorry, it was my fault. I'm doing a thing. Doing a thing. Also, I th the, after that, I think you, I think you, I think you're gonna need th uh, this. Uh, it's, it's in the, it's in the gem. <laughs> Where's the gem? Oh. What? Oh God. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, one of those. One of those for the kid. <laughs> Oh God, more bits. Oh, Thank you. Icarus fluid wins. Is this, You're generously providing is this a what the hay spell is in liquid form? It is the hay spell. That's actually just what Thras does. He opens your mouth and he just throws coffee in. All right, go. Keep spreading the love between those bellies. The moment I give Ika haste, they turn into a bipedal buzzsaw. Uh, thank you, Icarus, by the way, and uh, no worries, you go eat, but thank you so much for all the bits. Yeah. Hopefully see you again. Much appreciated. All right, anyway, I'm sorry. Roleplay, continue. <sighs> okay. Uh, kid definitely needs a coffee break after everything that we just did, and I'm sure you guys need a breather too. Yes, uh, plenty of things to talk about, for sure. Right. Let's be brief in the cafe. Ika's already going to be walking backwards towards it and be all like, I'm going. Oh, are we right in front of one? Mm. No, but this kid knows the city like the back of his hand. I'm sure he'll stumble into one. True, true. Uh, where you where you had your heartfelt beach moment, uh, there was some cafes on the on the end of the water. Perfect. Oh. Azalea is going to follow along, looking rather tired. Yes, we'll have to go back to our main spot and rest for the day before we get into things, for sure. I think, um, I think what we're actually going to do as well is, I think rather than the next session being the heist, I think we're probably going to do another session of uh, you guys planning and getting sure. stuff ready for it. Um, yeah. as much as possible because there's a lot more you guys could do like you feel like there's more NPCs you can meet and there's plenty like the, you, there's still stuff to gather and all that sort of stuff so mm -hmm. I mean spending extra days in a city isn't all that bad either mm -hmm. yeah right. we'll um, I think I am gonna call the stream here though <clears throat> all right okay yeah cool 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 cool
No, but that was fun. I liked that a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> That was I great. need more fancy Thrask in my entire life. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, more fancy, <laughs> threatening southern Thrask. Yes, and then just like Azalea as the fucking like muscle man. <laughs> so a good. monster creature. She yeah. so played a role so well. I love it. Oh, God. All right, the next session will be on the 5th of October. Are we okay with that? That should be good for me. I believe so. Yes. All right, cool. Don't think we Tonight have we just going enjoy the 21st night of September. <laughs> party up. Party up. <laughs> right now it's just party up, going to bed. <laughs> I, feel, I feel so bad because I literally had a bookmark tabbed on my like browser that said pick up lines for mermaids. And I was like, I didn't get to use any of them. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this was so easy. <laughs> well, the thing is, the thing don't is, tell her that. The thing, is, easy. The thing is, Ooh. you're 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 a bard. You're playing to the strengths of your character, and you are literally talking to someone who is looking for a middle-aged man. So yeah. Plus, you kind of nailed it. Yeah. So like, there wasn't really any, the only thing that you asked her to do, which was difficult, which would needed a roll, was the the taking into the palace. But. You, you, you waste that as well, so, you know. If you were trying cool. to do a stealth mission with all that, then no, but, like, you're playing to your strength, so you don't need to. I'm so glad I picked Bard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, in, just out of curiosity, give us, give us a line. All right, hold, I got to pull it back up now. Hold on. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's hear this. Oh, come on. You should have this up just not, like, 100% of the time. <clears throat> you must be a mermaid, because you make me feel like I'm underwater and I can't breathe. Damn. Mm. Hmm. I could have just been like, I need to die. <laughs> okay, this, one, this one's my favorite. This one's my favorite, though. I don't know why they named Starfish like that. Because you are the real star of the ocean. Ooh, damn. See, that's the one I wanted to use, but I didn't get a chance to open that's, with uh, it. I feel hard. like no matter what you would have said, Aiko would have been like, Ugh. That's that's Dad going on the day. Shriveled in place. The, in that thing, I don't know <laughs> about this. <laughs> the jig's up. I can't do this. <laughs> There's only so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Putting that away. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for coming along as per usual. Uh, the next, like I said, the next session will be on the 5th of October. Uh, the next stream for me will be on Saturday, and Amy will be streaming tomorrow as well. But thank you so much for coming along as always, and thank you, of course, to Pad, Essie, uh, Keston, and Amy for joining me. And I can't, I can't wait to do more of this heist. This was great. <laughs> yeah. Great start so far. All right, well done, everybody. That was great. All right, and we're going to send you guys over to somebody else doing Dungeons and Dragons at the moment. But thank you so much, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>